Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to something a little bit different. Uh, this is Cosmet. Here is a game all about building spaceships, piloting a spaceship, and it kind of quite freeform how it all goes. So, um, I've played a bit of this. It's really quite interesting. Um, I very much enjoyed. I hope, I hope people will enjoy it for stream. And yeah, we will see how things go. What is wrong with the mic? Seems to be working, unless it's defaulted to the wrong microphone. No, that should be fine. Seems all good. Um, yeah, it's a, a very interesting uh, interesting little game. I can't think of a better way to phrase it. We'll see how things go as we start off. Sometimes you can kind of have a very good start. Sometimes you get killed very quickly. Uh, now, we're going to jump into a new game. Uh, you can build creative and go down all that route. I'm not going to. Uh, we're going to go for a more... I say a more career mode. Uh, we're going down... Uh, yeah, we've got to actually, uh, you know, earn money, buy parts, and all of that kind of stuff. Now, I'm going to stick things on the medium difficulty. Oh, my computer is loud, because YouTube videos I was watching before were really quiet. Do let me know if volume's a bit wonky, because I don't know how the volumes are going to work with this. Uh, there are a few choices of ships to start with. Uh, I've not had any luck with this one, or any luck with this one at all. M Model S, basically, is uh, <laughs> the one that seems to have worked for me. Now, you can, there's a whole heap of mods and all of that. I've not got into that at all. Um, but you can load custom ships and so We're just going to start with a basic ship, and we're going to sort of take it from there. Uh, from when I played... When I played, I ended up making a we really weird or the picture. Right, the, fact, the thumbnail image for this, I think, uh, is the weird contraption I ended up getting towards. I have an idea of what route I'm going to take with this. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, <laughs> and honestly, I might end up getting distracted and forgetting what on earth I'm doing. Also, a distinct possibility. So here we are. This is our little spaceship. Now, we can name stuff. Uh, I don't know if we can actually name the ship. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. I feel like there must be a way to name the ship, but I don't actually know if there is a way to do it. We can name, so we have a crew. We have our crew of people. People can be named. Um, do not worry. Uh, <laughs> people can be named, so we will have some names. I don't know whether we can name it. I feel like there's got to be a way to be able to name the ship. If I can name individual people, um, We've got to be able to name the actual ship. Yes, you can paint the ship. You can even put... We could even make it proper fail race colours. I'm maybe not going to go um, just yet because it's likely to change a hell of a lot. Um, so you can name it. Click the lines rather than the build menu. Uh, this one? Ooh, buttons! You can have more than one ship. That can happen. Edit ship name. There we go. Ah, I did see. So, Curtis, thank you for the super chat that came in before the start of the stream. Uh, the ship is going to be called Carly Noise. Uh, unfortunately, Carly is unable to make it today. But we shall have the, um, the ship shall be called Carly Noise. We can paint the ship just orange if we want. Oh, wait, no, I'm doing decals. That's not what we wanted. We want the whole thing orange. Look at that. It's very orange. Um, this is a little bit like FTL. Uh, it's... Yeah, FTL is probably the closest thing, I would I would think. It's slightly less in-depth in some aspects, but slightly different. You get a little bit more freeform, and you get a lot more freedom in terms of the ship building. Uh, so yeah, we can have a bright orange ship. So, well, let's just a little bit zoom in. I'll give you a brief, a brief rundown. So we have a pilot up here. We have two guns. They have to be manned. And we have a reactor. Now, the reactor creates these energy cells, and the energy cells are used to power our shield. You can see this little guy running around and carrying energy cells where they need to go. Uh, so yeah, they're needed for the shields. They're also needed, I presume, to power the ship, like make it fly. And also, because I'm using laser weapons rather than cannon weapons or rocket weapons in which um, you would need specific ammo. Uh, we actually just carry energy cells into the laser weapons. So <laughs> yeah, um, that's the basics of keeping this running. Now as you go through, um, 
the ship's going to get much, much bigger. We're going to need many more crew, more reactors, more everything. And we're going to see how it all sort of pans out, uh, <laughs> essentially. Um, but to start off with, to start off with, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, we are going to hail the nearest station over here, a Vun Vunvus station. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly. And we're just going to accept some bounties. So take out some fugitives, clear an asteroid field, and take out a fugitive. Okay, simple missions. Just go and. Um, uh, kill some stuff, pretty much. Uh, I've had very little luck with any of the projectile-based weaponries. Laser weaponry is the way to go, uh, I think. Anyway, and we shall uh, wander off. Let's wander off over here. So we don't have direct control of the ship. We kind of just click and it goes, which is fine. Um, it's yeah, it's not the most in in depth. Uh, sort of flight mechanics. The ship will avoid if it runs into asteroids and other ships and so on. And we can zoom out like out here, all the way out here, and kind of see this little area before we start teleporting around. Or we can zoom in really close uh, to kind of get a scale. We're currently on the lookout for anything over here. Now this ship, with the shields at the front, is pretty strong actually. So here is our first contact. Uh, we can speed up time, we can slow down time as well if you want. What's likely to happen is we're racing towards it. As soon as we get into like the sensor range, oop, we will see what we're up against. It's a little ship. Oh, you've got no weapons. You are a babby ship and a half right here. Uh, <laughs> so you've got point defense cannons of those? What are they? Point defense systems. So these are basically designed to shoot down missiles. Now, I don't use missiles... You're going to have a bad day, uh, so we can actually, so we can slow down time if we want. It's fine if, kind of firing flak cannons almost towards us. Uh, we are plinking, oh, we're not doing a very good job of shooting that, with more hit in the side of it. Oh, we're having a terrible, inaccurate firing session going on here. That's better. We, we have actually hit the cannon. Uh, now, you can get all sorts of weaponry here. Uh, you can get weaponry that's designed to essentially penetrate the ship's systems and all of that sort of stuff. My shields are holding currently. Uh, we will plink the other sides. I mean, I'm mostly, if I can take out the weapons, the rest of the ship don't matter. Uh, <laughs> um, that's the goal here. Take out the weapons. So we're just aiming at the weapons. The ship will then not really pose any threat to us and then we can just plink out the rest of the thing. Uh, that thing is almost gone. That is now gone. And I mean... Ah, just open fire. Really? Uh, actually, maybe don't open fire. Don't open fire. Oh, we'll take out the fire extinguisher. Yes, that's a good plan. Uh, oh, we could take out the engines, to be fair. We can stop it running away. Um, we can probably speed up time a little bit. Um, I'll just slow it down so you can kind of see the combat a little bit better. Um, so now you've got very little maneuverability. Actually, can I plink through there? Yep, it's gone. In fact, actually, it's gone to the point where it's completely immobile now, and it is, whoa, disabled. Forgot how quick this ship is in this stage. So, ship's gone down, mission complete. Pretty straightforward, right? Uh, and then what we're going to do, I'm not going to bother with all of that. Uh, the ship's actually, because we, we kind of disabled it, we can sort of just go and grab, we can go and break the ship apart, uh, which is what you can take control if you wreck a ship. You can take control of it. Uh, I'm not really gonna bother. Probably won't bother most of the stream to be honest. I have to continue to expand my wacky thing. Um, and yeah, we can just kind of break the ship apart, and then we can get all of the goodies from it. We can get all of these copper coils they're needed for stuff. We can get these iron plates. Oh, what are you doing? Are you coming towards me? Oh, you're part of a mission. <laughs> Um, yeah, the uranium is valuable in the reactors if we can avoid blowing it up. But if you blow it up, yeah, we can. We're fine. Um, it's a that was a that was a very straightforward actual ship. They didn't really have much. Uh, now, one thing you can do. So we've sent all of our little crew. They've all wandered off out over here to go and pick apart this ship. We can still fly off. So you can like in an emergency, or if you're goofy. Oh, crap. Okay, so I'm going to actually... I'm going to pause this for a second. All right, everyone back to the ship, because we have got... So our, our people can get stuck outside of the ship, 
Uh, and if they're not in the ship, my shields aren't powered, and neither is... Uh, neither are my guns, because, well, people aren't actually sat on there. Uh, you're not really that scary, but... Everyone back into the... Uh, uh, everyone back into the ship. Someone go and put batteries in my shields, because we are currently unarmoured. Uh, there we go, shields are back up. Uh, you just wandered into a fight you really probably shouldn't have done. Uh, oh, have you broken... Did we take your engines out as well? Oh, I also love... No, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know if there is a way. Anyone who's played this game perhaps more than me. Is there a way for us to capture these people that flee? Because you can just you see the enemy, uh, like, astronauts flee their stricken ship. But you can't really seem to do anything with them. They just kind of float around until they die. Which is going grim. I don't know if there is a way to capture them. You don't have, like, space battles between your... We did take a couple of... We did a little bit of damage. It's nothing too bad because our shields weren't quite ready uh, straight away. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there... Oh, there's, there is... It doesn't look like there's a way to capture them. Which is kind of a shame. Because uh, they, they have a grim death. Um, yeah, we could take the ship. I'm not that fussed at the moment. Not going to bother taking the ship. It's not really worth it either, anyway, at the moment. We're, we're going to just make one massive, I don't know, dreadnought or something. I, we probably won't get that far. Mostly because I'll get Captain Distracto the entire time and never do what I'm supposed to. I'm good at that. Right, we're going to be filling up our ship. You're going to have a really bad day over there, my friend. <laughs> just whizzing around in space. Like, <laughs> like what? <laughs> what is your plan? You're just going to whiz around in space until you run out of oxygen. Like, you could try and parlay, or... No, no, you're just going to whiz around space. Absolute lunatics. I'm just going to pull apart your ship. Get all of the plates and all of the copper and all of the good stuff. Uh... I'm going to run out of storage really quickly. So we're going to have to get extending our ship quite fast. Uh, that is to be expected. But that's fine. You'll see the... Oh, hello. G g g goodbye, random enemy person. <laughs> you can do your stuff. Uh, right, donations to read. Drake, thank you very much for the donation. We will have crew members. It's a little bit difficult to keep track of crew members, unfortunately, because I don't have names that will come up. But uh, we will have crew members uh, named as we go through. Ooh. We have many high premium. Cool. I don't know if I have anywhere to put it. Do I have anywhere to put it? Nowhere to put it. Crap. Uh, <laughs> I should probably. Uh, where is just temporary? Should I, okay, I'm just gonna temporary extend that, just so I can pick up more guff while we are about. Oh no. Uh, we can fly a little bit closer. That's fine. Um, uh, Drake, thank you for the donation. They're saying a limerick to begin. Uh, enjoy. Uh, bashing and dashing is the name of the game. As Alex and Lasso didn't know who to blame. For one did a crash and the other did a bash. And all the while, Drake shot ahead into uh, FR fame. <laughs> I mean, it does happen on GTA. Not going to lie. That sort of stuff does happen on GTA. No doubt. Um... But, uh, yeah, a PS, name for something beer farts. Well, your crew member, we can have a crew member. Uh, uh, right, here we go. Your name shall be beer farts. We are off to a wonderful start. Welcome to the crew. Uh, now, we can change their roles, so we can sort of select what the roles do and have specific people to do specific stuff. At the moment, I'm not that fussed. We're not going go, to go too crazy. With that one, so there is Beer Farts having a wander around. Mr. Sumo, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so here is a request to name one of the crew members Tim Horton. Well, there we go. Tim Horton is going to be a part of the crew. Please do not die. Uh, we we need we need Tim Hortons. Uh, wonderful, wonderful stuff right there. Uh, King Chris, thank you very much for the donation, saying the. The Bard of Falrus, I think that's supposed to be. Uh, to be or not to be Lado. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I, you know, I mean, King Chris, you will become a crew member. Um, but, uh, yeah, 
I think it's a vague insult on on ladder. <laughs> it's, it's difficult to tell. The King Chris, you're going to go be a gunner. Beer Farts is delivering electricity, and Tim is delivering electricity as well. That's fine. I, f I feel like King Chris with a gun is dangerous, but never mind. Uh, right. My goal, oopsie, is going to be... I mean, the ship looks a little bit dopey now, with the kind of extended bits. However, that's fine. What we're going to do is go and continue the rest of our mission. So we're looking for someone else. Maybe? In the asteroid fields? There's someone. Ship! Every time we add bits onto the ship, we make the ship heavier, we make it less manoeuvrable, uh, and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're going to want more engines soon. You're running away from us. That's not how this works. I'm supposed to shoot you? No? No? Okay, we just, threw a random, we just flew through a random asteroid field. That wasn't actually part of any of our missions. Never mind. We're going to go and shoot you. Oh, you're a little bit more fearsome. Hello. I'm just going to pause so I know where to shoot. You have a laser gun. You're called Bottom Feeder. You are called Bottom Feeder. Uh, <laughs> um, you've, you're got quite a lot of engines. Um, right, we're going to shoot bottom feeder in the cannon and hopefully we can take out that cannon. That cannon is gone. Take out the point defences because they're not going to be much good against us. Uh, we'll just plink that cannon away. What are you? Oh, that's a cruise bunk. Well, you're having a bad day. Uh, and shoot out the other engines. Just disable the ship, really. We can shoot through the bunks. Yeah. Actually, to be fair, you have very little manoeuvrability left. How are you even moving? Is the question. Ooh. How are you moving? Because I'm. You, I took out all your engines. It was still turning and twisting. Uh, oh, wrong button. I'll eventually remember the buttons. Uh, we've kind of exploded a lot of you everywhere. Uh, <laughs> cool. Everybody, out. Going for a spacewalk. It's a little bit of a dangerous spacewalk. So it starts off a little bit slow, because we've got to pick up resources, and pick up money, and all of that stuff. We spent a lot of our money building those storage bays. I might have enough to add a couple more booster rockets on the butt. Uh, do we have enough to build some more rockets? Uh, standard thrusters. We could have some more butt rockets down here. Yeah, that'll work. Takes a little bit of time to go and get... Uh, everything powered up. However, um... Yeah, they'll just give us a little bit more speed going forwards. So hopefully can propel along. Uh, we oh, suggested we, okay, we could probably go get some more crew. That's fine. At some point we will go and get some more crew. Uh, and we'll get some more engines, and then at some point I'll probably delete most of the ship. And, oh. Will you leave me alone to do my scavenging, please? Be much appreciated. If you would. I think they're, they're quite a long way away, so not too fussed about them. Uh, pick up some coils. Can you grab... Oh, you are grabbing the rest of that crap. Fantastic. Uh, Vanessa, thank you very much for the donation. Saying thank you, Alex and Lano, uh, for my merch. I love it. I did tag you uh, on the pic, uh, in the pics on Instagram. Don't know if you've seen me. I did. Yes, I think I liked I think I liked them. Uh, I, I don't, I'm useless with Instagram and stuff like that, but I'm very glad to hear, very glad to hear that you are in, <laughs> enjoying, enjoying, you're liking the merch. Uh, people, if you're running out of oxygen, maybe come back to the ship, you morons. Jeez. Um, that's fine. Can we, oh yeah, just break down those last bits. Um... Yeah, I, I, I mean, I like the ship. We'll have to get some more stuff before we delete and rebuild it completely. Um, the game will probably be a little bit unhappy with us going down that route. However, uh, there we go. Shields are back online. We've completely gone off any kind of objective we were supposed to. And let's go fly over here now. So we are now going quicker than we were before, up to 97.7 uh, metres a second. Which is not too shabby. <laughs> not too shabby at all. Uh, with all those rockets. Uh, Shady Brady, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, another good beam episode. Uh, Soapbox, oh, was it going to be my next idea for you? Have you thought about uh, a one... About a one make like Forza. We have a bunch of ideas when it comes to beam, sort of racing and, and filming and so on. Some, some of the stuff is limited um, with what... 
performance wise we can get the game to do essentially um there's some stuff that we'd like to do but the game can be a bit chunky um we did when that that session was filmed we were trying something else something race the flood related that just didn't quite work uh, which does happen sometimes so yeah there there is there is the occasional uh game issue but definitely more racing on beam will definitely be coming a one make could be quite interesting um we've got like the motorsport playground the map that's got stacks of tracks and layouts and all of that kind of stuff and honestly doing things as a sort of knockout tournament does help r limit the frame issues uh that we get when we race 10 cars at once for example frame rate becomes a very big problem uh even for me with a pretty powerful computer it becomes a problem and, and those on lower spec pcs that have a real tough time so <laughs> yeah um ooh, what are you what the hell are you it looks cool what are those? Uh, disruptor fires bolts of electricity energy that deal little damage but can short circuit systems. Okay, so they kind of irritate the shields a bit. Um, quite heavily armoured at the front. Uh, however, we are plinking down that gun. Oh yeah, you've completely taken out our shields. Which is a bit annoying. Oh, well, we've got rid of the gun. That's fine. And the other side is gone. Engines, if you please. Uh, I don't know if I can really get. Can we? Now it's very difficult to like maneuver in behind them. They can turn pretty quickly still. Uh, well, cock we'll just take out the cockpit and that should stop it. In theory, bang. It's gone. Right. That was a little bit... A little bit scruffy. We took a bit of damage on the nose. But the armor plating's, funnily enough, supposed to do that one. Right. Put it apart. <laughs> Everybody... Everybody go on a spacewalk again. Uh, just checking that we're all good. We are... No, we almost filled up all of the storage. You need a lot of... A lot of storage. Yeah, so the disruptors are a bit of a pain. Thankfully, it didn't really have any other weapons. Uh, <laughs> uh, so it was mostly just broke the shield and then it didn't really know what to do about the armor plating around the front. So wasn't the worst thing in the world. We need to get some more people in our ship because six people is not enough to be dealing with this. We should get a good haul of stuff here. We got the, the blue stuff quite valuable. Uh, whatever the hell it's called. It's for warp drives, which we're not really using. Um, so, yeah, not not too fast. It's just the reactor. If we can get some more uranium, that's good, because that can we can build another reactor in hours. But, yeah, the more important bit is uh, getting the... Uh, getting more crew, I think, is the main goal. Did I not build another... Did we lose a rocket? Hold on! Hmm. Hold on. How did you shoot out a rocket or did I crash a rocket off of my ship? How did that happen? Did anybody see that? I mean... I don't remember seeing the rocket going ping. Come on everyone before you run out of oxygen. Cry, I'll part my ship closer. What shot the engine off? <laughs> Very confused. Yeah, uh, unless maybe the disruptor hit it. I guess maybe when we were twisting around. Um, it, it, they may have got a lucky shot, though I thought you we were pretty much dead on. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> like, how could it have got through and taken that out? That's very peculiar. It is very peculiar indeed. Well, let's go over this way. Yeah, because 97 is about what we were doing before. That's so odd. Yeah, I, I did not... I never saw it pop a... Pop the red engine. That must have been a good shot. <laughs> so, this this ship currently... And I mean, this design is going to change a lot. But this ship currently is quite... Um, the, everything's focused on the front. The armour... Well, it's not really... Well, there is armour. The shielding is all on the front. Um... So, 
we're kind of charging stuff head on them. Yeah, if we get flanked, we could be in trouble. Oh, that was an asteroid field. I mean, asteroid fields are useful if you want to go. You can build, like, a mining ship. To be honest, you could probably, not that I've tried, you could probably play this game pretty passive and make a lot of money that way. Like, just wander off into the asteroid fields, do a load of mining, uh, because you can mine resources to turn into things like the um, plates and the coils and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I, I will also go and name the crew that we have, because there are still uh, some uh, crew members to be named. So, uh, Vanessa, welcome to the crew. Uh, you are currently on uh, your powering an engine. Fantastic. And we will have <laughs> Shady Brady on one of the guns. I feel like that name might not instill massive confidence um, for shooting. However, <laughs> here we go. Um, I, have, I have not got a chance to get more crew as of yet because I need to build more crew quarters and I want to kind of do everything all at one go. Um, so, yeah, right. What are you going to be? Oh, you're like a weird little... I mean, you're a strange little thing. You have got a laser cannon, uh, which is, you know, a little bit dangerous. You've got similar weaponry to us. Quite well protected, actually, that laser cannon. Um, our shields have gone down. Uh, we finally chomped through to get your gun. Uh, okay, we have chomped through to get that. Uh, oh, just like we're going to blow up the reactor. That's fine. We haven't exactly got... Whee! Good work. <laughs> right, quick. Repair my ship. Because we did take a little bit of a battery there. That's fine. Got too much shit. So I'm not necessarily... So the reason I just blew the reactor up on this one is... Because don't have a huge amount of storage. We were a little bit concerned. Um, Alright, so we can turn around. We know they've got... A ship coming in. Oh, you've only, only got a laser cannon out that side. Over there. Do you reckon you can chop that away? Oh, crap. We've got no one. Where are all of my crew? Get, uh, get in a gun. Start firing, please, for God's sake. We are actually in a load of trouble here. Uh, please get rid of that gun. Turn around, turn around. That thing's doing some serious damage to us. All of our people have run away because things are on fire. Can I get out of here? Have I got the speed to just get... Oh, we've crashed into a meteor. Fly! Fleet! Fleet! Use all your engines. Uh, I have a feeling things are on fire. Maybe a little bit. No, they've, no, they've, they've dealt with everything. Uh, we nearly lost a lot of stuff. Quick repair work. <laughs> I think that was a good call to run away at that moment. We need more crew before tackling that. That's fine. We can do that. Um, yep. Panic and fleet! Panic and fleet. Carly Noise lives to fight another day. It might have had... Well, I mean, it took a battering, but it could have been worse. Uh, we are we are not running away. We are advancing in a different direction. <laughs> Let's go for that one. <laughs> Let's do. We'll go. I'm going to claim that one, right? Uh, it's that's that's where definitely what is happening here. Um, oh, is there a repair button? I did not notice that one. Uh, right. We completed a couple of bounties. It was just three pirates attacking us at once. Was a little bit, little bit too much. Right. Receive payment. Receive payment. Okay. Good chunk of money has come in. Let us go for. Uh, we want a new crew quarters uh, over here. Can I? Uh, no, I can't have. I can have a new crew. I can have a crew quarters that literally just dumps people out into an engine. <laughs> That's the worst design ever. Uh, well, for the moment. We're going to do it. Then what I'm going to do... Weapons... 
Uh, we're going to... That's dangerous. That's a dangerous, silly game. Uh, let's chonk that up there. We've got our fire extinguisher. We'll chonk in a couple more lasers. And... Uh, then I guess we can, we're gonna put a fire extinguisher. We're not gonna have a fire, no, let's not, let's not tempt fate. Can I, nope. Okay, I can tack one on in the storage bay. Uh, I might have to just tack one on down there, that's fine. Oh, tack one down there. Uh, right, so, station, hello, let us hire another 12 people. Uh, okay, so we've got 18 people on our vessel, which is good. It recommends 13. I mean, we can fly with less, but we're, 13 is, is quite a good... Um, if I think we're like the efficient efficient amount. We have enough power. Well, we don't have quite enough power. We can do with some more power. Uh, can I... Can I? Yes. But I won't have any access. So, what we're going to do is actually go delete, delete. Uh, move the engines over there. Let the corridors come down here. And then, just for the moment, we can do this. Oh, bloody hell. Do not crash into my big old thing. <laughs> There's a better way to phrase it. I mean, it's not the most efficient design ever, but it kind of works. I have a feeling this is probably how most people's ship ends up going. Um, ah, can we do a mirror mode? I've never really messed around much with that. Uh, ah, that makes sense. <laughs> there we go. Um, that works. That, that's helpful. Uh, so yeah, we've got corridors. Hmm. It works. It's not the, the best way of doing it, but it works until I pull the whole thing apart. Uh, we could do with more... Might have to start making a bit wider next. That might be the goal. I've kind of built it a bit of a wonky way, because I've sort of narrowed it at the back. Because you see, these little... Uh, where these kind of blocked out areas uh, are, you can't place stuff. Uh, so we've kind of tapered it at the, at the rear. But we can always expand... That's no problem. Um, uh, we could... So we have got... The reactor's a little bit exposed, but I could just... I could just put armor plating on the butt. Uh, although, before I armor plate the butt, I should probably put a corridor. Wait. New plan! Hold on. Uh, right. We're going to do that so that there is room to maneuver. We are going to have big butt plating. <laughs> Uh, hold on, can we? I know how I want you to go. You know what? Can I do some big butt plating? Can I go the other way with the butt plating? Uh, no, that's, how do I do the, that one? There we go. And then we can just... I mean, the, to be fair, the butt is probably now overprotected. <laughs> I guess I could get shots in that bit that I can't really protect. However, it is very well protected down there. <laughs> that's gone, that's massively overkill. I've used everything I have. <laughs> oh, I think I'm out of stuff. I don't think I can actually afford... Oh, I could just buy... Okay, I haven't got any more resources. Yeah, it's... it's we're very heavily armoured in an unnecessary... I mean, it is important, but probably not to that level. That would take so many shots to get through the butt. You'd be better off just shooting the engines out at that point. But, <laughs> quite literally, it's quite funny. So, it'll do. I'm happy. I'm happy with it. It looks very dumb. <laughs> it looks so stupid. <laughs> Oh, he's going to have to get fixed. Yep, accept, accept, accept. Sure, we'll do that. Um, we'll go on some. We'll go on some missions that are all over the place. Right, let's go take. Uh, let's go to this asteroid field. Um, yeah, I, I feel oh, we might need some more engines. 
We're quite sluggish. All of the butt plating has made us slow. We could definitely do with some more engine. I could probably get rid of some plating at the back. Maybe I could get rid of these middle bits and just engine, like two engines either side there. I mean, they would be vulnerable, but they'd be protected from the sides. I could do that, actually. That would work. Probably go down that route, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's fine. I say that. It's definitely not fine. It does kind of look like a platypus, actually. You're not wrong. The uh, the Carly noise is a bit of a weird-looking thing. Um, yeah, we're going to need more engines, but that's okay. We can get more engines, and then with more engines, we need more... Uh, reactors, and it's just... The barge is just going to get longer and longer. Uh, okay, so we're going to have to deal with these two contacts again. I feel like we are better prepared than we were last time. Was this one immobilised? This one is pretty immobilised anyway. It's got one gun. Um, well, <laughs> it's got one gun and one one volley uh, was enough to just eliminate it from the fight. So I'd say that, was, that worked. And you... Oh, you're the disruptor. Arsehole. Um... Hopefully, I mean, our shields have taken a little bit of a battering there, but their weapons are about to go down. Knock out that engine. And I think that is immobilized. Sweet! Okay. Much more effective. Uh, it took a little bit of damage on the front, but nothing major. Good news! It does appear the upgraded... <laughs> The upgraded vessel did the job. I mean, we've got a couple more. We'll get. We'll definitely get a lot more front-facing cannons at some point. You know, we're going to need some more front-facing cannons. Four is not all blasted. Four is not enough. Many more are required. Uh, Andrew, thank you very much for the uh, donation. Saying sorry, Alex. I have not said it for many months. So <laughs> bum bum bum. Of course, considering. We We've basically got the the biggest butt plating imaginable. You know the what is it? The Ankle is it Ankylosaurus, the dinosaur with like the big club tail. If we spin around really quickly, could we use the armor plating as a mace, uh, like as the club tail? Do you reckon that would work? I mean, I feel like the answer to that question is going to be a solid no. However, uh, <laughs> it would be uh, it would be kind of funny. If you could. Uh, I don't know what the collisions are like on this game. Not re Funnily enough, not really gone down the route of ramming stuff. That's normally the desperation play. Um, but yeah, what we'll, what we'll probably do is, as G Hammer said, that's probably what the plan will be, is we're going to extend it out widthways next. I might keep it... I might try and keep it like the wedge shape a little bit at the front. Um, kind of like that style. Uh, and it's all great. We end up making a Vulcan bomber at this rate. <laughs> We're actually okay with just make the big Delta wing uh, shape, which will be kind of cool. Uh, I have no doubt there are going to be way more efficient ways of playing the game than the way that I'm about to show you. But, yeah. <laughs> We're having fun. Did we tear that? Oh, it's so much better when you've got 18 crew pulling the ships apart. It takes way less time. Uh, how much stuff do we... Oh, bloody hell, we're already full of guff. Uh, I also love how it says we've got 267 plates out of 180. That's maths for you. Uh, right. Do we have... in? We're going to want... How many crew are there? I reckon we need 13. Uh, is there a way? Select tool. Can I... Oh, God. Can I select... A... No, no, never mind. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm just going to delete the section, essentially. Uh, just screw it. Uh, oh, I know we have got the mirror mode as well, don't we? So, all right, bear with. Let's just delete. This. I think there is probably a slightly more efficient way of doing this, but it's fine. Um, you know, we're gonna make 
we're gonna probably make mistakes along the way. Actually, what we can do, because I want a bit more storage. Uh, so if we go hook in a couple more of these down here, we can then weapon and weapon. Oh no, we're at steel. Um, I guess we could fly back actually, couldn't we? Because everyone go pick that crap up. Uh, yeah, we can just kind of fly back, and we could, I guess. Oh no, we're out of money as well. Never mind. <laughs> we'll be. F oh no, we won't be flying because we've got no sideways engines. But I need steel. No, I do have it. Oh, I do have, obviously do have enough steel for those. I don't have the lasers. That's fine. And then I guess for the moment... Okay, we can still move. Uh, that's that's okay. We're going to expand upon this a little bit. It's a slight bit scuffed. Um, but that's fine. That's fine. We could also actually just bump our way over here and pull that apart slightly for more steel, I would presume. All is good. It is exactly... Yeah, like like, uh, like Grimworld, we're always needing storage. I swear that is the biggest... the biggest, I say, kind of problem. We're not broke, we're... just not got much money <laughs> at the moment. The money's on its way. We are proper pirates. Look, the money's coming in, we've just got to go and do some missions and then head back to the base and then we'll be rich... All we need is a parrot and the promise of treasure, and I think we're full-on pirates now. I've gone from being a good spacefaring to just pirate at this point. Uh, <laughs> I, I presume you could potentially attack stuff and become a pirate or whatever. Um, we can, You can mine stuff on the asteroids. Um, but I, don't, I think if we mine the iron... We would... We're very slow. I think I'm out. I think in all of this farting about, I've lost some forward thrust. Have I lost some forward thrust? Y yes, I think we did. How have I lost some... Where did my steel... Did it all go on the bloody... It must have all gone on the... Goddamn... Storage units. I swear we had more storage than we did. Never mind. I could delete some butt plating, but I feel like we've got to keep that there now. Um, feel like I feel like we've got to keep that. I think because we deleted, we did have two lots of these forward thrusters and one of the little ones. And in, in making this, we've we've removed some. I mean, it's fine. I can just kind of go. You know what? I want to get there quicker, so let's speed up some time. Whee! Okay, it does slow it down automatically. Thankfully, when it sees. Uh, uh, enemy. Oh god, that's very zoomed in. What is this? This is a station. We might have found a station. Uh, we can't punch off the legs of stuff very easily. <laughs> it's not quite Rimworld. It's not quite... Well, Vanessa maybe can do something. Um, don't know what Vanessa's job is on the crew at the moment. Uh, I don't really want to fight two of you at once because I'm not very agile. I've got a lot of firepower. Oh, ship great. Oh, what the hell? I've never seen one of these before. This is cool. Well, I think we've solved our steel problem. Uh, right. Plinky, plinky, explodey that shit, please. Um, yeah, just go and... We can definitely take a hell of a battering in this one. Uh, uh, get rid of your weapons. I actually just... Whoa. Oh, no, you are down. You're dead. That ship is immobilized. And the others are running away. You know what? That's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna guess then that I can just pull that apart and get a crap ton of steel. But let's just see if they are actually running away. Well, they've kind of buggered off over there. Um, Jeez, okay, that's going to take a long time. Steel! is not a problem anymore. <laughs> Steel is sorted. Fantastic news. Um, oh, everyone back to the ship. Sound alarms, because now one of the pirates has got brave. 
Everybody back. We need you on guns. The butt plating can certainly absorb the shots. Christ, that thing is rushing in. All right. Spin around. We're not exactly the most agile vessel in the world, but... All right. Oh. Have we got... Okay, we've got one of the guns. Take out the other gun. Yeah, it's gone. Take out the engines. A sneaky git. We can probably just fire into the cockpit, to be fair. Uh, and kablang. That's gone. Objective complete. I think I actually took out one of the bounty. I think one of those is the bounty as well, uh, which is not too bad at all. Uh, right, let's go over here. Sure, why not? Um... Yeah, we'll go and we'll go and go and do something along those along those lines. Right, sweet. Uh, we can prepare everything. Then let's just dig up all of that. We should be nice and safe. Uh, we can build a lot of armor. <laughs> no, no engines. I need more engines. I don't have enough engines. We're very slow. Uh, as soon as as soon as we get some more engines. Then we're going to be good. We're going to add additional engines here. Right, we'll probably get two there, and then we're going to build some into the butt plating as well. Um, <laughs> it's gotten very weird. We want some more guns as well on the front, and maybe even some more shields, actually. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Um, yeah, might not be a terrible idea, actually. Uh, there is going to come a point when... So, we've only got a very basic mm -hmm. cockpit. As your vessel gets more and more complicated, uh, you need to have higher and higher tier, like a command center or a bridge, or I don't even know. You might need even multiple mm -hmm. ones on the bigger ships. I don't quite know how it all works. Um, but yeah, okay, so it's 180 steel. Fantastic. Look at that. God, then that was a monstrous ship once upon a time. I mean, that <laughs> there are little bits of uh, ship hanging around. I mean, to be fair, we're... Compared to these, we are the decent size. Right. Uh, let's go and build. I haven't unlocked any of the bigger engines yet, so we're stuck with the Bogo standard ones for now. Uh, nearest power's a bit far away, but uh, let's just go. <laughs> uh, what if... Uh, Oh, we can't put... I can't put my engines where I wanted them. It would have looked cool. And we all know that looking cool is more important than anything else. Never mind. Let's just go back to... Uh, shoving the... How do I tell it to put the door... I mean, they'll work. It's a little bit awkward to get to. Uh, yeah, it's a bit awkward. I mean, I could stick in... No, apparently not. Oh, gosh, it's alongside the engine. Ah, yeah, okay. What if, then, we did that, then, and that'll be much easier to go and fill up those engines. That should work. Okay, the, the, the weird platypus is... The weird, there's going to be... It's it's. Uh, how much crap do we have? Uh, we still have some steel. I could maybe... Can I get my more... Can I get more guns? More guns is more good! Yes! More guns, more good. That's what we like to see. Because then what we were going to do... Is what are we gonna do? How are we gonna work this neater? And I guess it could. We could just shove in like these little armor bits here to kind of. Uh, I mean, it kind of will take a little bit of hit before that engine goes. If those engines go, they're not the worst in the world yet. Um, uh, we can lose the front those engines and not really care about it. I say that. We're not going to... I don't want to try to lose those, but we can lose those and we will live. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking... It's pretty heavily armoured. Uh, it looks pretty menacing. I might try and get some shields out on the sides, actually. 
Um, that would be kind of cool. Uh, we do have a new... Well, we have a couple of new people, actually, I think, to be named along here. Um, uh, Mikey Chaos, thank you very much for the donation. They're saying, Alex's character arc, spacefarer to pirate in 43 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about accurate. Uh, <laughs> and bum plating. That's going to be the new thing, isn't it? Bum plating is going to be the new bloody... Um, <laughs> <laughs> the new thing that no one's going to understand, because you know, when I play games non-racing, we have you know many less viewers on the stream, which is fair enough. I did this because I wanted to play this game because I've been enjoying it. Um, but yeah, now in other streams, there's going to be talk of bum plating, and no one is going to know what on earth um, we are on about. However, yeah, <laughs> what? Could, let's just confuse everybody. Andrew, welcome to the crew. Um, who have we got? King Chris is on the guns. Uh, who else is on guns? Everyone else is. Tim Horton is on gun. Everyone else. Shady Brady is carrying the batteries around. I mean, the ship is working fairly well at the moment. You can get a lot more in-depth with the rolls and so on, which I probably will at some point. Um, right. Armoured Platypus. Over here. How fast is the armoured platypus is the question. Can we get up to uh, the good old 90 metres a second again? Nope. I think we might have crashed into something. I should probably have picked up some more spaceship bits, actually, but... Ah, we'll go on anyway. We're up to 82. It's better than it was. It's not amazing. But... It's a bit better. Uh, Drake's saying, does the ship... Sh yeah, the ship shape on like the little mini-map does look like a cuckoo clock. I kind of see what you mean. Yeah, it's it, it does. It kind of looks like a little hut. It actually looks almost like... The, you know, there's like those big like gothic architecture, like cathedrals and... Ah, oh, no, it looks like the Warhammer, like the big dreadnought crazy ships with all the buildings on the top. It kind of looks like almost like a front view of one of those because they were that like really sort of box. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's not, but kind of. <laughs> uh, it's a strange looking thing. Right, let's see what we do against you. We should absolutely murder this thing. Uh, whatever the hell it is. We'll just pause. I mean... <laughs> So we've got this. Admittedly, it's got two laser guns. It's kind of scary. But it is going up against this. <laughs> like, you're not going to have a good time. You're, you're not going to have a good time up against this when you... Well, this, really... Uh, yeah, the, the, you know, the 40k spaceships are basically just like f massive flying cathedrals and citadels. Oh, we've overshot a little bit. Uh, the downside to all of our size and heft is we're a bit... Well, never mind, it's dead. What do we do? Do we take out all the crew? <laughs> never mind, no real problems were had. We overshot and the butt plating did its job, I think. Oh yeah, the butt pl plating actually got hit. It did do its job. Just, I mean, minorly. Right, pull it apart. Go and get. It is like I say, we can't. Well, we could bring it into our uh, fleet, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of at the moment. I'm just focusing on my ship. Just start dealing with more when I don't know what I'm doing too well is going to get confusing. But yeah, break apart the weapons and all of that. I don't think they're valuable. I don't think I've ever managed to take... I don't think I've ever managed to take a ship without taking the weapons out first. Normally, kill the weapons. That's my go-to. It's what I do in FTL. Um, not everyone will play the same way, but it's always take out the weapons first. I would much rather take out their weapons because, well, that's a lot of the threat is gone. Uh, <laughs> Uh, at least, yeah. Uh, so, it definitely worked. Uh, do we have any more missions? We've got that one over there and then that one over there. Uh, that's okay. We can wander about. Have we broken all of that up? Looks like it. Everyone is back in our ship. Uh, do we have... We could... How many control points, command points? We got up to 50 or 17 left. 
Does this need... It needs power. Ooh, we could build some more... Kind of want to build another shield. Mostly shielded. But I do kind of, if I expand widthways, I do want some more shields at the front. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's just not do it yet. We'll go on a adventure over here. Um... Yeah, shield, okay. shield needs three command points. We could add shields either side, and that'd be okay. We'd still be able to do it, but then I don't know how much guns. We should probably focus on getting a better cockpit, essentially. If we can do that, then uh, all is good. Maybe we'll end up moving the cockpit down towards the heavily armoured butt. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a way to go. Uh, all right, let's just speed up time. We might run into stuff along the way, but the game will slow down so you can deal with it. Um, yeah, we could definitely do with a bit more power. <laughs> it's always the difficult thing, right? You make a very fast ship, it's not very strong. You make a very strong ship, and it's not very fast. Uh, and we've kind of got a bit... I mean, we're a bit... I, I would say we're probably a bit on the heavier side. Uh, we do with unlocking, actually. We'll unlock the engines, we'll get start working on that. As well. We'll have the money after all of these missions. That's the goal, at least. Uh, right. <laughs> what ship are we going to come up against here? Are you going to be another little flimsy toy to the mighty Carly noise? Pause. Uh, you are flimsy toy. <laughs> you have one big laser gun. And the laser gun's gone. Your other guns are kind of gone. Yeah, your reactor's gonna go pop in a second. Kabang. Goodbye. <laughs> go on then. The many crew. Not that fast. Not gonna get everything. Uh, that's fine though. Uh, we will just go pick up, pick up the most of it, um, and then do that. Uh, you absolutely can get mini ships to fight if you want to go down that route. Uh, you can have like a whole armada if you want. I, in theory, I guess you could get, like, I don't know, probably a bit more complex to, to fight battles if you want to try and manoeuvre like six six ships around. Uh, but yeah, you could have a whole fleet of like little mini moving laser platforms and flank stuff and um, all of that kind of thing. I think, possibly, I don't quite know. Um, I've, I've never really gone down that route. I just make a big ship myself. <laughs> just want mini guns on one thing. Uh, that's the way to go. Um, uh, yeah, I have not looked into the modding side of this game at all yet. Uh, I believe there is a, a decent amount of that going on. How is that? We're running out of bloody storage space again. We always do. <laughs> never enough storage space whatsoever. We've run out of shielding on the front. That's fine. You can... Who have we got? Uh, oh, no. Uh, it doesn't show me the person's name. That's a shame. Uh, it'd be nice if the crew were a little bit more involved <laughs> than, than, yeah. It'd be nice if they were, but that's just that. All right, are you, I'm not going to worry about picking up that crap. We've got enough steel for the moment. Right, person, you can come back. Was that... That was the dude. That, that was who we were after. <laughs> right, over there. Oh, no. Don't go yet. We're going to leave someone behind. Who's... Nope. Never mind. Hold on. Yeah, let them get in. We've almost flown off without someone. <laughs> now we're just playing that silly... <laughs> we were doing the silly like your friend goes to get in the car so you shuffle forward. Uh, we were just doing that. Just in space. I feel like in space, that's quite a bit meaner. Like, when you do it in a car, in, you know, in the normal world, it's mean, but it's not like you're going to run out of oxygen. <laughs> So, yeah, and I feel like doing that in space is, is a bit harsh. Hopefully it was none of the named people. I really hope. I hope not. I hope not. Because, yeah. Never mind. Onwards! Towards the next locale. I mean, it's going to be splat another very basic ship at the moment. We're kind of doing the first tier missions, and our ship is probably higher than, than that. Um, uh, Drake, thank you very much, by the way, for the uh, donation. Saying, Alex, here's a... Uh, a, 
a cheeky uh, Star Trek esque thing. Uh, Captain's log, Stardate uh, BO four BL eight. We docked at uh, Vin- Vinvus. I don't know how to pronounce it. Station to collect our bounty. There was uh, a rumbling in the reactor. Beer farts had toilet problems. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> we don't want beer farts having toilet issues. Um, but there we go. Uh, P.S. Drake for the next name. Uh, and also, uh, P.P.S. Cult Wars end now. The Cult of 1P is there for the moment. We can absolutely have Drake onto the crew. Uh, welcome. Oh, you're going to be one. Well, you're a gunner at the moment. Uh, Drake, welcome to the crew. Uh, you are currently on one of the many laser... Well, one of the many, but one of the laser cannons. Uh, you can be in charge of that for now. Um... I was sorry, there are indeed pets in the office. I have got an Apollo, who has gone to sleep, and an Eve, who is awake, but probably won't be for much longer. <laughs> we have a chill evening at the moment. Is it going to last? Probably not. Pro- probably not. I'm not expecting it to. It very rarely lasts. Although Apollo's had a good run today, so uh, he should be knackered. <laughs> Uh, you can tell when Apollo... So I, There's a big field by me, there's quite a few, and I take Apollo down there and he loves to chase the bulls. So I sit at the field, chuck a ball for him, and, and uh, you know, he has a great time. And I can tell when he's getting tired, because when he doesn't run back to me, when he just sort of jogs or slowly walks his way back, that means he's tired, and he is definitely tired today. So uh, he should be fairly chill. That's the hope. Um, right. It's one of these again, the voltage ship. Nothing crazy. Uh, we can just, jeez, just tore the laser apart. Christ. That has done a hell of a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go as far as to say that was quite damaging. They hit our nose cone. <laughs> they, they did two steals worth of damage as we tore their entire ship apart. You know, a, f- a fair trade. A fair trade, I think. You likely damaged my armoured nose cone. And we absolutely ripped your ship apart. Okay. You see, the thing is, I'm making this joke now because I know we're going to come up against much, much scarier ships. Uh, <laughs> we're currently, I don't know... Don't quite know how the level system works. Um, but we're kind of doing, like, the first level missions in a ship that is probably, you know, a bit better than that, really. So, yeah. Um, when we start getting onto harder missions, I do love the little animations for, like, the cargo bays. I really like the way that the... and I like the animation that you can see the people... Even though when you're not in the, like, this mode or the build mode, you can see the people moving around, you can keep track of where they are, um, which is, which is really, really, that is really neat. It's a really neat little game. I, I can't recommend this one enough. I know it might not be quite to everyone's taste, and that's fair enough, uh, but it is fantastic for, for what it is. Um, right, let's go get some money, because we've got very little. We're going to beef up the ship. Uh, and hopefully go take out some more dangerous missions now. Um, uh, oh, up and left of your buttons to be the entire universe. Is this one? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we are farting around in... So we're farting around in, like, I guess, like, the low... The low danger sector uh, here. Um, and, yeah, so you can jump from system to system all the way around... There's a lot. I don't have a hyperdrive yet. We'll get one at some point. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a faction system that I've never really gotten into much. Um, I've mostly just farted around building different ships in the in in the kind of opening section. I'd just be like, right, what can I do with a ship? And just mostly done that. Uh, what's over there? Uh, what is that? Because there's a contact and a question mark. Let's go investigate. You can sometimes find, like, abandoned ships just parked around. It does happen. So maybe that's what we're looking at over here. I don't know whether they could be an ambush. I mean, possibly, I guess. I've not come across one, but... Ooh. Oh, okay, a hyper jump beacon. Yeah, and I'll go and... Oh, don't bump it. <laughs> right, okay. Well, that's something that's probably useful. But there's other hyper jump beacons. I'm going to guess there's... Oh, yeah, there are four, so... You... 
I'm going to guess then, does that... Uh, oh, wait, I don't know where they're pointing. I, I thought they were pointing the way you're supposed to go, but never mind. Okay, I was hoping that was going to be an abandoned ship that we could strip for parts and make some money. But apparently not. Oh, no, wait, hyper jump relay. That's a relay. What's the difference between a beacon and a relay? Never mind. No idea. Maybe that's where you jump into this sector from? Possibly. All uh, right, ship, slow down. Let's not crash into the uh, station. Would probably be a good idea. And parked. Should be able to hail it from here. Ha ha! Look at it. We are going to be very rich. No, we're not going to be very rich, but we're going to be quite well, quite well off. Uh, right. Let's. Uh, ooh, that's a danger six. I don't know. If, I don't think we can take that that yet. Um, nuclear missiles. Let's not go for. Okay, we're gonna rescue. De oh God, Dero, Dero, De 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. We're going to rescue you. <laughs> I don't know what I call you. And some roving pirates. Yeah, let's go take you out. But before we do, I think it is time to upgrade our ship quite a lot. So, uh, we're not going to be buying any of that crap. What we are going to do, we're going to unlock some stuff. So this is how you unlock better weapons. We're going to get some heavy lasers. That feels like a good way to go. I'm just going all out lasers uh, on this one. I'm, not, I, I'm, not gonna, I'm sure these can work. I've not had much luck with them. A rail gun sounds fun, but we've got more important things to spend our money on. Uh... So, we want a control room. Really. I, mean, I, don't, I think a bridge may be overkill. We definitely want large engines. Uh, okay. Ooh. That's quite cool. The engine room. Let's go for... Can I... Can I what do we go for? Do, do we go for an engine room and try and boost efficiency? Or do we just get for... A massive engine. <laughs> so what way do I play it sensibly? Moving walkway? Don't that care that much. Uh, maybe learn to build a bigger reactor could be quite good. Um, so we can. So this is stuff we can use to make production. We can make diamonds if we want. Uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, we can make the coils. We can make the steel. So if we go mining, we can go down all that. Road. I said there's loads of ways you can go in terms of improving your um, uh, improving your vessel. Right. So, things that we want. We're going to change... going to change the armor around the back, I think. Uh, so, the, the butt plating is going to go for the moment. Uh... Do I want the fire extinguishers there? Honestly, I don't think I do. I'm going to actually remove all of my engines for the moment. Or all of those engines for the moment because I want to go a little bit... We want to go a little bit different. Uh, oh, Christ, that's huge. Oh, my ship's not designed for the width of the control room. That's going to frustrate the crap out of me, but... If we put it there, uh, if we put it there, we're going to have to extend back, aren't we? Uh, or, well, we could have two control rooms. I don't think we need two control rooms. Let's maybe turn off that. We could control room it up there. We could... Uh, storage it up over here. That's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're, we're going to have more things added on. So we could do that. And then we could have rockets. I need I need speed. Big rockets is the way forward in life. Uh, quite literally. Big rockets. All of the butt rockets. We've lost some of the defense. We've now just become a we've now just become a very boring shape, uh, <laughs> but 
Uh, I mean, we have many boosts. I guess we could armor plate. Uh, you kind of fill some of the gaps in behind the fire extinguishers with some armor plates. We're kind of... We're going to make a tail. I figure if we have a tail, let's do it like a, like a flail um, that can maybe... Oh, we could actually also get... Do I have the, I, have, I have the resources. We could get some of the point defences and use these to help protect us against uh, rockets and some of the other lasers. So we could, we could kind of scatter some of these down the bottom. We could protect the butt with some, like, automated anti-missile shielding. Um... So that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm, I didn't get the engine room at the end, so don't worry, we haven't got that yet. <laughs> uh, right, heavy lasers. We definitely want some of these if I can afford some of these. I feel like... I feel like we want to put them there. They look awesome. I like them. I like them very much. Uh, right, so I'm kind of thinking, can I afford, I can afford, can I afford another double heavy laser? Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Although actually, what I kind of, oh, I can't really put them further back because the, uh, it's fine. We're just going to be this crazy extreme, um, gunship from the front. If you flank us, we're stuffed. Uh, we're absolutely stuffed if you figure out how to flank us. Um, but <laughs> it's it's kind of like it's just a brutal ship now. Uh, let's go for a little bit more storage down here. Oh, we're spending money buying steel, but that's cool. Uh, we are going to uh, do I want a little bit of storage down here? I felt like might. Oh, it's almost like I might as well do some storage on this part. Uh, we can do that. We can do that. And then we need we need new ring thrusters. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten. I haven't forgotten. Um, we can have the two-way thrusters like poking out the sides. So can they sit in there? They're quite be quite well protected in there. Uh, ah, crap! We're out of money again. Hold on. Hold on. Station. I'm poor. Uh, could you, perchance, uh, you will buy, uh, don't want to sell too many, right, you go sell some of that just so I can put maneuvering thrusters on. I'm out of money again. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> the cathedral's getting a bit silly uh, at the moment. Uh, right, they've flown out. They're flying off all of that crap to sell. Uh, thankfully, these are fairly cheap. I hope once they've completed their little trade. Um, okay, money has come in. We can get those. Could I get can I afford those? I can. Uh, and then we could kind of try and deflect shots away from there as best as we can. Right. Uh, <laughs> I actually might be out of... I think my powers... If I be... Oh, we are absolutely stuffed in terms of power. Yeah, we're stuffed in terms of power. We need 40 crew. Might have, I, it might have gone a little bit too mad with this. Is there a simple mission to do? I might have to go and do some mining and make some money in a non-explosive way. I feel like maybe we're going to go and become a slightly different... No, wait, I know what we can do. What am I talking about? I have a plan! We're going to go make some money by... 
breaking apart some ship. I have. I'm a very good cargo ship. I'm a very heavily armoured, insane cargo ship <laughs> at the moment. Um, we are. We are. We we have basically just become. I could actually delete these butt platings. They don't really need. Um, yeah, we are just an incredibly heavily armoured cargo ship. I tell you what, they are absolutely speeding their way through the asteroid field. I don't think I want to be going 83 metres a second past some asteroids. I think I'd probably take it a little bit more carefully, to be honest with you. But, uh, <laughs> right, ship graveyard, pull the ships apart. I mean, we can sell the steel plating, that can get us some money. Uh, that's a way to do it, uh, I guess. Yeah, I think we've got a little bit too mad. Whoa! And handbrake turn! We <laughs> right, just how about just that? <laughs> uh, right, with that, whatever the hell that is, that looks awesome. Not gonna lie, that is a cool looking ship, which I am going to tear apart. Hold on. Have I deleted the airlocks? Oh, crap. Uh... Right. Okay, yeah, I have to leave the airlocks. <laughs> uh... That is an problem. Right, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I know, I fully understand. I got a bit carried away. Uh, <laughs> we can. I don't know how much the steel is worth here. But I guess we can probably pick up a lot. Look, it was worth. It was worth getting rid of some of the weird tail so that we could. Uh, you know, go and do the mining. What we've basically done here is got carried away and bought far too many guns and not really developed the system designed to cope for it. <laughs> Just shoved a lot of guns on a very small ship and thought, that'd be fine. What could go wrong? Uh, <laughs> so we're going to need a massive, we're going to need at least like two more reactors probably in here. A bunch more crew quarters. Well, they're easy enough to build, um, I should think probably extend down a bit at the moment uh, rather than rather than making it wider we're going to make it longer people do not run out of oxygen you morons uh, we'll, you know, park a little bit closer so idiots out of air can refill the oxygen someone's definitely dying at some at some point in this because they run out of air Ugh. The air airlocks we put in a better place at some point during this. They're very expensive. I mean, if they get shot off, it doesn't really matter, right? <laughs> Probably shouldn't say that. Uh, what can we do? We can fire at will. Uh, can we... Uh, can I, like, put you in a power conservation mode? I'm not sure. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, so, so uh, Snowcanner's reckoning you could run this ship with 20. Okay, fair enough. I think the power might be the, the power I'm a little bit concerned because we've only got two reactors. I think we're going to probably need a bit more in terms of reactors. Uh, I feel like that's going to be a good shout. Um, and then I, oh, the problem I've got... What, how much stuff do I have? I have 12 uranium. Maybe like a reactor? Uh, power, power, power. We would need 20. Uh, oh god, we need a lot. We need a lot of coils, which I don't think I can get. Uh, can I get from pulling apart these ships? I might get some from pulling apart Whoa, brakes. Is that, like, heavily armoured plating? Maybe. You know, we'll just take a chunk out of that. 
Yeah, we don't have the coils for it. Um, yeah, we could maybe kill some of the engines. Any of you give me coils is the question. I don't think so. Is there any interesting... No, you're just basic wreck. I'm looking to see if there are any of the like remnants of the pirate ships around that might have some coils for us to steal or anything like that would work. Right, I think this is quite a heavy... Whatever this was, is a hell of a heavily armoured thing. Makes you wonder what killed it. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I guess, in theory, right, we have potentially a huge amount of... Like, we might run out of power quite quickly, but like the first couple of volleys from the guns on this should be devastating. Should being the optimum word, but should be devastating. Uh, small concerns that it wouldn't be, but the hope is is that it would be uh, suitably destructive. Where do we need to go for these missions as well? Uh, ah, okay, that one there. Oh, okay, and limit, that's just overall limit the roaming pirates just as you find them. Um, that's okay. What was blooping at me? Why was things red? Was someone running out of oxygen? I'm gonna guess. Yep. Okay, that's what was blooping at me. That's fine. You can just drop in there. Yeah, if whatever killed this ship decides to come back, we might have a bad time. I mean, hell, our ships... If you think that's half the ship maybe if we, if we presume it extends around there and by the looks of it it goes it goes to a point um because i doubt it, it wouldn't be like a perfect oval i would imagine that's going to come round and that side would come round and then there'd be a point out the front just looking at the way some of this is shaped um it would have been a very cool it would have been a very cool vessel once upon a time when we are currently stripping it for parts not even any exciting parts as well. Our, our storage is just literally full of iron plating. <laughs> it's perfect, really. Uh, you know. We always need it, I guess. What does that do? Oh, it's just a center point for building, I guess. Okay, I guess, yeah, it, depending on how you design your ship, you can fart around with it. That's kind of cool, actually. Everyone is bloody running out of oxygen. <laughs> okay, that's going to take a really long time. I might, in a minute, just cancel the mining order and go on an, go on an, an assault and see what happens. Right. You know what? We've got a lot of steel. Everyone come back. Right. Everyone is back in the vessel. Let's go and, and rescue a station. Considering I could have done this with my ship before I did all the upgrades, we shouldn't have an issue doing this. It's just if the cannons stop firing for a while, uh, that would be the problem. Uh, we're going to have to keep fingers crossed. Do we just bump into a meteor? I think we have bumped into some. Is that crash damage if you bump the meteors? I feel like there should be. I don't know whether there is. But, uh, yeah, we'll move, don't go too close to the sun. <laughs> uh, right, we have not got people in the right places at all for this. We, let's just maybe... Oh, wait, actually. The last... Lightyear. Buzz, come with us. Well, there's a pirate over here. Buzz, you've gone the wrong way. Oh, for God's sake. Right. So some of our stuff isn't hasn't got people in it. Oh, that's great. At least we should have enough people in some... Go oh, wow. You are... Oh, you've got some weaponry, actually. To be fair. Not really much match for our weaponry. Jesus Christ. 
It did have... Okay, got a little bit overkill on the shooty-shooty there. I was trying to stop the whole shooty-shooty of everything, because I did want to scavenge a bit more from what was left of your thing. But we kind of just disintegrated it. Yes, funnily enough, the little... Oh! What are you doing? Phalanx, like... No, don't, actually, if you want to go take out the station guards and I'll get all the credit for it, that would be cool. I'm fine with that plan. You can go do that. Yeah? No? Alright, fine. I guess I'll do it myself. I guess I'll do the mission I was asked to go and do myself. Uh, <laughs> we've got some coils, at least. That's good. Um, yeah, but we've got so much weaponry on here that... Honestly... If, if only half of our guns are even manned, we're probably going to tear apart this stuff at the moment. It's going to get a lot more difficult. But, uh, yeah, for now, we can tear things apart. Uh, I don't think we have a stun setting, funnily enough. I think we can we can volley it, or we can have it fire in, like, volleys, or have them all fire at once. Don't have a stun setting. Uh... <laughs> Uh, we just kind of destroy. That is all we do. Uh, we are we are good at destroying. Everyone's back in our... It kind of looks like a stingray a little bit. It is a longer tail, but we have... Actually, I mean, that's the way it's going to go. We're going to extend the back of it down. So it is going to end up looking like a bloody stingray by the end of this. Um, which is kind of cool. Like, oh, no one's in a gun. We have one gun armed. Morons. Get on gun... Uh, now a couple of the big guns are armed. Well, this is going to go a way. I don't know if it's going to go a good way, but it's going to go a way. Uh, right. Whoa. Pause. Uh, what are you actually shooting at? I think someone might be trying to help. You have one gun. I mean, you've swiveled to protect that one. Oh, the one gun's gone. Uh, pause. You have a couple of disruptors, so swivel! Fire. That's gone. That's gone. Have you got anybody else? Okay, whoa. Uh, nope. I think we have removed all threats. <laughs> uh, oh, you did a little bit more damage. You clonked us a bit on the top, but not that much, really. Uh, right, perfect. Go and pull that apart. Yeah, you can go do your thing. We will go talk to the station while you're doing that. Give me some money! Thank you very much. Uh, all right, we've got like level two bounties as well coming up now, which is fun. Let's go and accept a bunch of these. That's fine. Uh, then we will. We've got enough money to start extending the ship back a bit. Uh, yeah, we should. We don't have money to buy it if we don't. So my plan is that we're going to delete all of that. I know it's a little bit uh, whatever, but we're going to delete all of that. We Apollo, what have you done, you moron dog? What did you knock over? What have you done? Dog's being silly. Oh, now your tail, keyboard, tail, desk, tail everything. What's up? What did you knock over? Don't you bark at me. I can't see what you've knocked over. It's dark in my office. What have you Hold on. I've got to go figure out what he's dropped. What the hell is that? Right. One second. <sighs> right. Okay. Apollo managed to knock uh, one of like the power blocks. Uh, like the thing, power blocks, no, the bit that you plug into, like the, the plug that you go into the wall, I, I don't know what it was actually from, but he's managed to knock it, um, 
onto the floor and he freaked out. Because <laughs> he's a weird dog, basically. Um, oh, I should pause the game, actually. I forgot. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, things that we desperately need. Can I fit a medium reactor in there? No, I cannot. Can I afford a medium? I can afford one medium reactor. What if... No, I can't afford one. Oh, no, because it was wanting to do two. What if I put one? It's going to cost us a little bit of storage space. That's fine. We can build more storage. Um, we can we can always build more storage. Uh, we can... Do this. We can corridor it up. Down here. Uh, do we want more crew? Do you reckon more crew is more good? More crew is normally not a bad, because we're always going to need them, right? Don't, we don't really have to pay the crew, which is quite good. So we're going to have, we have a, a, you know, big amount of crew on this. Might as well fill this up, because why not? We'll probably end up putting stuff in there. Uh, and then we just shove a whole load of engines up the back. Right? Just engine. Engine. Engine? <laughs> I see no way this can go wrong. There's definitely... I mean, I'm tempted just to stick a couple more of these back here in case. I'm not really expecting much to actually get through to this point. Like, weaponry, like, shot-wise. I doubt. I mean, we could we could arm it. We could armor it down here. I'm not really expecting. If shots are getting to this point, I feel like I've done something a little bit iffy. Um, although it's certainly possible, knowing us, that we've done something a bit iffy. If <laughs> let's let's be honest here, we'll probably have done something a bit iffy. Uh, I guess we could also. Uh, if we were to armor up around here and just kind of armor the airlocks a bit, I might put some shielding at some point up there. Ah, uh, doesn't look the worst idea. Um, yeah, the, the missile. I know the missiles can miss. I'm hoping the that these things here are gonna in theory protect. I don't know how good they are though. Um, so yeah, in theory they're going to protect us, but we'll wait and see. Hire, oh, max out the crew. Fantastic. We've got a lot of people on our vessel now. <laughs> the, uh, the, the mighty Carly Noise Platypus is, uh, well, it's going to be ready, um, for something. <laughs> I feel like we're still massively overkill at the moment. I like, yeah, Cal Calgore Grimm's plan. If we just hit them hard enough, they won't have time to fire back. I like the thinking, honestly. We have 26 crew members. Okay, we don't have the full, because I think we ran out of money uh, to get the full crew. But this should be enough to make this vessel work fairly well. Right. I have no money. Let's go shoot some stuff for money. <laughs> oh, we are just become space pirate at this point. But it's fine. I mean, we're, we're, we're shooting the bad people, right? Uh, <laughs> it looks like a Transformers head. Kind of does a little bit. Yeah, I can kind of see it. We've, kind of, we've slightly lost the uh, gothic cathedral style that we had going on initially. It has now, <laughs> yeah, kind of like little, little like Punisher, uh, almost. Not quite, but uh, there we go, right. Unknown contact. How dangerous is your thing going to be? This is the question. So this is like a level two ship that we're coming up against. You're definitely a little bit more dangerous. You've got two laser blasters and you've got a couple of cannons on the front. Um... I mean, one cannon's gone, cannon two is gone, laser three, it's all gone. 
it, it has it has all gone. <laughs> oh, good work. Yeah, I'm gonna say. <laughs> Oh, we got a couple of hits in there. We might have to expand our, um, our shielding at the front. I think. I keep thinking you can actually like fly through the debris field. It's sort of kind of the debris field sits above your ship's level. Is that coming towards us? Oh, everyone, back in the thing. Yeah, back in. We're about to get shot at again, and I need some people on guns preparing. Everyone ready? Yeah, the guns are, 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 are prepped. Right, what are you? Are you fearsome? Not really. <laughs> I maybe wouldn't have been in a massive rush to charge at me after what I just did to your friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like the old uh, Captain Jack Sparrow is the worst pirate I've ever seen sort of a line is almost applicable right here. That was pretty... You, you went up against a pretty heavily armed ve <laughs> vessel with your pea shooter and you paid the price. We'll get some uranium out of it. We'll get some stuff to sell. That will work. Hello, Apollo. What are your opinions on this? Other than apparently wanting to lick... Why are you licking my elbow, you weirdo? What's up? You're a strange dog. All right, away from that gap. Uh, <laughs> uh, Curtis, uh, thank you very much for the uh, super chat. Uh, just saying, Captain Kurt. Well, you know what? We have plenty of people to be named, so uh, we can have uh, Captain Kurt. Welcome! You're currently on a gun at the moment, but uh, yeah, I'm sure Captain Kurt fires laser guns, right? That's how it works. But never really watched Star Trek. But, uh... <laughs> uh, right, that's fine. Well, that was one baddie dispatched immensely fast. Uh, on to the next one. How fast do we go? Acceleration. 85. I mean, it's not unreasonable, considering our ship has got very silly. Um, uh, I think Apollo's battle strategies are chase the ball, chase the ball, run around like a lunatic, and go to sleep? Where has he gone? Oh, yeah, he's gone to his bed. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure Apollo's strategies are great. Uh, in terms of intergalactic warfare. Uh, <laughs> in fact, uh, Apollo's strategy would be pretty much what we are employing currently, that is, fly headlong at your problem and hope for the best. That is the Mali, that is the Mali way, just to face first at whatever your problem might be. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see what happens. Normally you come off better. That's that's basically the, the the strategy of a Malinois is you just dive at your problem and you're probably tougher than it so you're gonna it's gonna work. Uh, <laughs> hope for that. What are we fighting here? Oh, you're a piddly little ship. You've got two, really. Is this was this really that you're a level two? Oh, well, that got a little carried away. We just shot straight through the uh, control module. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I feel like we got a little bit overkill. I mean, you can never have too many lasers. You can never have too many lasers. Oh, piss off. I wanted to go and collect loot. Right, everyone fire that. It's not really a... It's not a panic station, because as long as we get everyone back in their guns, we'll murder this thing quite quickly. Oh, you're gonna not. You're not even gonna fly to war. You're gonna. Oh, you, asshole! You're not even gonna have the dignity of flying towards us. Instead, you're just gonna fly past us. Uh, you made me sound the alarm for no goddamn reason. Oh, we never like to, to sound the alarm unnecessarily. 
Eh, you can bugger off. Right, let's go pick up some loot. <laughs> How close are we to filling the storage on this? Oh, miles away. That's what we like to see. Look at that. Fantastic. We've got loads of space for goodies. We've loaded this in a weird way, but... It works, I guess. Right. That's almost loaded. I think we're all back. Okay, on to the next one. Right, chat, what do you reckon? Are we going... Go on then, I dare you. I dare you to fly at us again. You, we, you, got, you flew off once. I'm going to say stuff it, and we're going to go headfirst at you. What are you? Oh, you're a little bit better. I mean, you've got <laughs> you've got a cannon and two lasers and a storage bay, and you know you you're a very basic basic thing, and your cannon's gone, and your laser's gone, and your storage bay's gone, and oh, your engine. Oh no, you're all gone. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Can't even be bothered. You're not even worth the loot uh, at this point, I don't think. Um, <laughs> you were better off running away. I'm not going to lie. You made the right choice to just leave. Oh, no, you tell a lie. You did a little bit of damage. You actually hit one of my guns. It was only one of the guns, but still, uh, we are very overkill. I mean, if I get my other shields up, which I want, which we could probably afford after these missions. We'll have more. We'll add shields that cover all the guns better. Um, and yeah, because there's a little gap they can shoot through. So we'll put a shield over in this corner to protect the rest of the front end. I haven't come across any rocket uh, vessels yet, which is curious because they could. We could be quite vulnerable to rockets essentially if they miss. I mean, we've got these point defences, but I don't know if they're going to be enough. Rockets could easily get into the side. That reactor there is probably a little bit exposed. Because all you have to do is shoot through a storage bay, which is hardly the heaviest armour in the world. Oh. oh. Okay. Pirate Hunter. Okay. I mean, we can probably... If we just, like, spin to take this out, what are you? Ooh. Ion beam emitter. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's dangerous. I feel like we should get rid of it immediately. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it looked like a big imposing gun. It looked like that could have caused us issues. And just the first volley, we shredded it. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, your day's gone quite poorly. Bloody hell. Well, the other pirate ran away, which is honestly the most sensible thing anything, anyone's done today. Uh, <laughs> was, uh, they saw what was going on and just, nope, I'm not helping my friend. I'm going to run. Yeah, okay, they got a shot off down that side. So we are seeing a little bit of vulnerability in that side. It's, yeah, it's basically the sides of the ship. Um, that ion beam could have been really fearsome. Uh, that, that ion beam could have been genuinely quite scary, as it was. Uh, not quite. <laughs> not much. <laughs> it was just sort of a... Well, we'll go to our usual strategy of... Uh, fire many guns. And it did the job. Uh, yeah, you could just break this ship apart. Uh, right, so... What I'm thinking is we kind of want a shield here. Uh... Put a shield up there, and then that'll cover the guns. It gives us a little bit of protection to the sides. We're going to probably need some more crew. I'm okay with that. Though, we'll do these missions, we'll head back, and then we will get some more crew, because we can afford them. We will expand our shield network at the front, and... That should be fine. Uh, apparently, the the ion <laughs> the ion beams can be linked together into a giant Death Star uh, laser. That's cool. I like that. 
I mean, we're not going... I feel like we're definitely going for the I want a billion lasers. Just... We're, we're going through... Going for just volume of lasers is, is my play style, I think, in this just many... Eh, I guess ion beam kind of laser. But I think, yeah, we're mostly just going for sheer outright volume of laser cannons. Um, because why not? Why not? One of our guns is in opera. In in opera, there someone wasn't in the gun. <laughs> That's the word. Uh, oh, what the blow! Bloody hell! What is this? This must this must be the pirate base. Now we are. Oh Christ! I'm strong. This thing's strong. I don't know if I can take that. Uh. I mean, if you want to, uh, we can kind of drag. So I'm going to guess that's a pirate station and those other things were the platforms. Um, like the, the, the turret platforms. Uh, <laughs> so I'm just going to avoid that for the moment because I, I feel like running into that is, is probably how we die. Overconfidence will get you killed very quickly in this and any game of this style. Uh, and while our vessel is very powerful in a 1v1, I think 6v1, I might have more trouble because we haven't got, uh, if we get the, if we get the shielding at the front, we might be okay. Uh, if we get more shielding and more crew to keep the shields powered. Pirate Hunter, we had a mission to kill some of those, so, uh, if we can take it out, is it going to fly towards us or is it just going to fly past us? I don't think I can catch you. I haven't got the speed to do that, so we will we will ignore that for the moment. All uh, right, in two. There it is. That's what we want. There is the fugitive. Uh, oh, the hunter's kind of coming this way as well. What vessel are we up against? Okay, so you got a cannon. You got some disruptors. Uh, actually, I feel like maybe take the disruptor out first is going to be the way to go. Or we could just miss and take out the main gun instead. That works. <laughs> nice. Uh, engines. Can we not take out the reactor? Never mind, it's all blowing up anyway. That's savage. They, they barely got... They got a chance to fire. Like, they're getting little shots off of at us. They're doing the, the minimal amount of damage, but it's just enough to make me a smidge wary. We are a smidge wary of what these these vessels are capable of. Because the last thing I want to, again, is to get overconfident and get killed, essentially. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nomad Gamer, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, saying, oh, damn and Blast, now I've bought another game. <laughs> I do really recommend this one. Uh, I do really, really recommend this game. It's a lot of fun. So, yeah, if, if, you, if you like what you see, I do really I think it was about £17 on Steam. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of mod support as well if you want to get really crazy with everything. Um, so, yeah, do, do highly recommend this one. Also, <laughs> the ship needs more bum plating. Yes, we need the return of the butt plating. <laughs> At the moment, we've got too many engines. <laughs> we've got too many... Oh, what are you doing? Pirate, can you just leave me alone to collect the loot? Are you heading towards us? I think you're going to skirt past us, actually. I don't think you're really going to bother with us, are you? No. You're just doing your thing. Oh, we're out of shields at the front. Okay, if everybody can. Uh, everyone is back in the vessel. We're going... Over here. Alright, onwards. I'm just going to speed up time, because screw it. Right, three bounties should be completed. Uh, four bounties, I think, should be com completed. From what I remember. And we should get a good chunk of money. We Let's maybe just slow you down. Don't crash into the station. Oh, we shot a tiny bit, but that's fine. Right. Ha-ha. Uh, receive all of that. Uh, eliminate pirates. I think that might have been what we flew past. Maybe. Uh, 
Well, that seems easy enough. Let's just accept a bunch of these. Uh, that's got two pirates and two... Yeah, that must have been what we flew past. No, it's not. Oh, it's the complete other side of the bloody sector. Hmm. I mean, actually, because we're gonna get, we're gonna get a bunch of shields, so we can probably do this, and we can probably take out the pirate base as well. Um, maybe we'll do that. I feel like that's a really dangerous mission. That one. It'll be fun, but it will be bloody dangerous. Right, actually, the other thing. I need to do another thing. I'll get there eventually. Uh, hire everyone that was available. I spent a good chunk of our money. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, chat say you can play this game for five hours without realizing. Absolutely. This is one of those games. 100%. This is one of those games where you're minding your own business and suddenly a whole great many hours have gone by and you've completely forgotten what you were doing. Uh, it's really dangerous. Really dangerous. <laughs> I mean, it's what I love about it. It makes it fantastic, but it is super, super dangerous. Okay, shields have been improved. Uh, we are going to do the... Uh, how do I get you... How do I get you to go the other way? Flip the other way. Is that one, isn't it? There we go. So we've got kind of prongs on protecting our shield generator. So even if they break through the shield, it's got to break through this armor that's horrible uh, to break through. We do need some reverse engines. Uh, which, basically, I'm going to put them in there. Then we are going to need an airlock. Uh, like that? Airlock's either side, and then we could just arm those for the moment. Uh, oh, I was going to also heavily armor. Not heavily, heavily armor, but definitely armor up that bit a bit more. Just in case someone gets sneaky and thinks they can plink a shot at our reactor. I don't know what I'm doing, but I feel like we're prepared. That's probably a very dangerous feeling. Uh, okay. <laughs> Where can I put more heavy lasers? I guess make us wider would be the, the way to go. Uh, do I want to... While I'm here... We actually really do look like a face now. <laughs> I've just noticed. Um, the, the, the little... It looks like the Crash Bandicoot mask thing. I can't remember what it's called. But it kind of reminds me a bit of that. Uh, not really, I'm not, re we're going more full combat than anything here. Uh, flak battery, that's a defensive thing. I guess I should probably get a hyperdrive at some point. I, do <laughs> I feel like that would be a good, useful thing to get. Um, I feel like we should maybe start unlocking some of this stuff, but, uh, ooh, a bit of gravitational beam that pulls and pushes ships and, ah, uh, but push it. Uh, sensor array extends our sensors. Eh, it could be useful, but um, yeah, power actually yeah, is not a bad shout. Power is probably a little concern for us. Uh, I could get another small reactor. Okay, our power, our power's not far away. Our crews should work for more than our command points. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to start. Um, I think we're going to have to start aiming to up our power situation. We're going to do with saving. Yeah, we need to start. So we need to stop blowing up everyone's reactor. <laughs> we could move the reverse engines. We could free up some. I mean, we're gonna. Yeah, we'll probably. Uh, 
and tweak the ship a little bit as we go forward. But at the moment, I don't know if we're going to have the power to go too crazy with some of this. So, uh, yeah, do we? How brave are we feeling? Do we try and charge that? Maybe we save that for the end of stream, because if it goes horribly wrong, the ship will be blow into pieces. Uh, also, Chris, thank you for the donation, uh, saying, in Russia, the Lada Neva is available from the factory with camouflage paint. It's a £295 option. Uh, quite pricey when metallic paint is only 90 but it's a proper paint rather than a wrap, so that's nice. That I, That's a choice. Um, that is... That is a choice. Can't say I would be getting... I can't say I'd be getting a lot of Neva, but I can't say I'd get a camouflage, but still. Uh, yeah, that, that is an option. An option has been uh, been done there. Uh, Chris, welcome to the crew as well, by the way. Uh, you can join us, and we will also get uh, Nomad uh, Gamer. Welcome. Welcome aboard the Very Dangerous. So, Beer Farts is doing power. Captain Kurt is on a laser. Oh, God, we've got Chris on a laser. That's the most dangerous thing we've ever done. Uh, <laughs> we have put Chris on a laser battery. Uh, oh, we're going to clear asteroid fields. Okay, so we're going to loop there, 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 there. Loop back to there. Depending on how things are going. And rescue Ostido. Os Ostido? Ostido? I don't know. We can go rescue the station as well. Uh, have we made the ship heavier? Uh, yeah, we stuck some shields on it, didn't we? So a little slower. We could get some bigger engines. I'm not... Eh, I'll say I'm not too fast. There's no real, like, time constraints to this game. It's kind of just, you know, wander about. Do your own thing. Um, apparently the, uh, the flak batteries, uh, flak batteries double as an offensive weapon. Fantastic! I like the sound, I can't afford them yet. More offensive weapons is the way to go. Pirate? Ooh! Ooh, you are a different ship. Okay, you're a little bit more scary. I say that, I have a feeling... I know what's about to happen, but you look a little bit more fearsome. You've got four guns. You almost have as many guns as I do. Um, I mean, you've met the same end as all the others. There's a couple more ships on the approach. Okay, you have... Oh, I'm still moving. Never mind. Whoop. Uh, we have... Oh, God. More ships. More ships are incoming. Uh, you have a weird weaponry layout there. Um, oh. Oh, we're stuck on an asteroid. Uh, there's some friendly fire. The butt plating would have been useful there. You look a smidge more fearsome. Why am I not... Oh, no, you're disabled. Never mind. That's killed itself, or like some long-range shots have taken it out? Maybe, oh, no, maybe, it's, my, maybe it's a friendly one. Oh, we've hit an asteroid again. Jeez, uh, that's just exploded. Okay, that was a friendly. Uh, Alright, quick. I mean, we didn't lose anything. We got slightly distracted by the friendly uh, thing that was shooting around us. We just blew up a lot of stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, right, are you going to bother us? No, you've flown away. So I can just go and... No, you're going to come bother us again. I just wanted to go and scavenge the ships, because I'm going to forget where they are. Oh, screw it. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't want to get my people stuck out of the out of the ship. That's a huge asteroid over there. What have you got? One cannon. I feel like, having witnessed what's happened with a big cannon... Oh, you've just bumped into us, or we've bumped into you. I'm honestly not sure. Whatever's happened... Oh, you're just going for ramming speed at the moment. I guess... Oh, crap, actually... Good point. 
If I suddenly blow you up... Oh, you're dead anyway. If I suddenly blow that reactor up, I could well have blown us up. <laughs> that could have been quite a good strategy, actually. Yeah, like, don't do anything to my ship. Just fly yours at mine and hope it blows up while close. It would have probably done more damage than a lot of that stuff has done. So, yeah. That could have been genuinely scary. <laughs> Is something to, to take note of. Well, we managed to disable this one with it almost completely intact, so I don't know what bit we hit. We must have taken out the cockpit or cabin or whatever the damn thing's called in these. And that, I think, is what would have done the damage. We got three ur enriched uranium. Oh, we're going to get some more as well because we've just pulled apart the reactor. Good work, everyone. You have done a fine job of clearing that. Uh, the important thing is, uh, Drake with the scores, we haven't lost a ship yet. We've only ran away once. Well, and we had dodged one uh, contact, but that was a fairly sensible choice. Oh, we've picked up 112 missiles. Not really what I need. I don't really use them. I guess that was what that ship was carrying. Uh, <laughs> we got a lot of missiles. Uh... Jeez, there's loads of missiles. I guess I can sell them. I don't use them. Might as well sell. Uh, all of the little, all of the little astronauts are just whizzing out to pick up all of the rockets. I feel like I don't know about you. I don't know about you, chat. But if I had just been on a ship that had basically obliterated the other ship, right? And you're just floating. Around, are you really going to go? Oh, okay, they are the shells, not missiles. But regardless, are you going to go and pick up the shells, the ammunition of whatever form that is on a badly damaged... Like, these things are going to explode. I'm not going to pick it up and carry it back to my ship. <laughs> like, I feel like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to leave it there. Like, it could be helpful. Do not get me wrong. It could be helpful. But do you trust that not to detonate at some point? Because I'm not sure I would. <laughs> I don't want to be the one carrying a shell from a damaged spaceship. So, yeah. Um, I'm not I'm not too keen. Right, so this station, Ost Ostido Station, has two pirates, which I'm sure we can deal with in two defense platforms. The platforms won't be too much of a problem. I think we could we can just plink them... Like, we can plink the pirates and then move into the platforms. We know we're devastatingly powerful uh, when we get close uh, to some of this stuff with all of our front-facing weaponry. Uh, so the thing we don't want is to get flanked. Uh, the butt armor is not strong enough. Um, if we lose some engines, we could well be in trouble. Uh, the fact that we're getting here and I'm not seeing any radar blips is concerning. Uh, can I goad them to come out? Come on. I'm... I'm over here. I just want to... I just want to goad you into... Coming to investigate. If we can. Um... I mean, we, we're, we're going to sell the ammo here, because, you know, <laughs> this is a station. I was hoping I could kind of just cheese one of these pirates to come out. Go on. I what, what, I challenge I challenge you to a duel. An honourable 1v1 duel. If you kill, if you damage my ship significantly, I will leave you alone. Uh, <laughs> no, you're going to play smart, are you? Well, that's no fun. I wanted to just goad you into a silly fight. Come on, pirates. Uh, your ships are ugly and all of that, so we just insult you from range. Um, <laughs> come on, I, I, let's just go and. Uh, if I can just go, because the stationary run is a platform. I don't really want to fight yet. There we go. Right, run away. Oh god, we do not turn anywhere near fast enough for that. Right, change of plan. Uh, right. Oh, Christ. That one's got an iron ion beam. Can I just destroy that? Yep. Uh, the other one is behind us. 
that's shooting something else. That's blowing up. Uh, don't think we've really taken any damage, any significant damage here. Uh, I guess we'll pick some engines. Christ. Eh, yeah, screw it. Just pop the ship. Uh, right. So, laser blasters. I mean, this is a little bit sketchy. <laughs> we say, as it rotates. You know, you've been very kind. You've literally rotated your platform for us to shoot all of your guns away. And that one's gone. And I think we can probably just blow the cockpit up quite sensibly here. And clonk. Uh, right. And a small EMP platform. I've not come across one of those yet. Uh, you look cool. That's a fancy station. It's taking a bit of a battering, but I like it. I like that these have actually got people running around in them as well. It's kind of cool. All uh, right. Let's just wander over here. Um, right. Missile and mine launcher. Well... Did not really do very much. I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> you were the lead. Well, I say that actually, you might have fired something that I didn't notice. Uh, anything damaged? Oh yeah, we got shot a little bit. Nothing major though. In all that, let's just go over here and pick the remnants of this apart. Sweet. Right. While that's going, might as well hail you. Uh, right, rescue your station. We have done. Uh, sell all of the ammo. It's not... Oh, it's actually worth crap all. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, ammo is not really worth... I thought it would be worth a little bit more than that, but apparently not. Uh, whether the, I don't know whether there's anything left on this... Oh, actually, a, a turret survived. We didn't even kill a turret. We just disintegrated the rest of it. Um... Yeah, the, the stations are actual ships, uh, which is really cool. You, uh, I mean, yeah, you could take over one. I don't know whether we could, whether we'd be strong enough, but yeah, in theory, we could take over a pirate station, and then we would have control of a station, and then you could fly it around if you really wanted to. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think it probably won't be very agile, but I guess you could fly your own space station around and then have other ships as, like, uh, escort. There's, like, it, I love, I love the possibilities. It's really cool. Um, that, yeah, you could literally create a, f a, a mobile space station, fly it around, and have a bunch of, um, escort ships, essentially. Right, we're going to fill up the crew here. What was going to be the plan next for my ship? Power. Um, that's the, uh, that's the next goal. Get some more power. We're going to extend our ship down a bit. Maybe we can put a reactor in there? Possibly? Actually, we could maybe even get a reactor either side. Could be interesting. Oh, wow. Uh, the station did take a little bit of a battering, actually, in all of that. It looks cool, but the pirates definitely did a bit of a number on it. Uh, you will at least give us... Uh, we out of storage a little bit. Oh, bloody, what the hell is that? What is that? Why is that material? I don't actually know what that is. It's not a steel plate. Is it like titanium? Is there a higher grade than steel? Maybe there is. Possibly. We're still breaking stuff up over here. Uh, yeah, get the uranium. That's the kind of bit that matters. Fantastic. Everyone is coming back. <laughs> Everybody is coming back to their regular jobs of put fuel in everything. Fantastic. Right. Do we have enough? It's uh, we have enough for a medium reactor. Uh, we could put capacitor somewhere. 
Uh, I kind of, I'd like to do that. Can't buy the rich uranium though. That's the problem. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. That's part of an EMP. That. Okay, cool. Uh, hmm. Do we... I know we can do... No. I select these. Can I move them? Nope. That's fine. What I'm going to do is going to delete those for a second. I'm going to build. I'm going to extend the ship down this way. Right. Because I'm going to fill up that space in time with reactors. That's the plan. We can fill that in there for the moment. Uh, I guess for the moment... I can put one in there. Uh, I guess we might as well have it for now. And then we can just armor plate the sides. Like so, just in case we get attacked down there. I feel like feel like we're a little bit we've now <laughs> we've now just got like a weird hook at the back with one reactor in there i don't i mean i guess we should probably as funny as it is to have the hook probably wouldn't be a bad idea to reinforce this just in case we get shot uh, we can delete these later. So this, we're just building like some structural beams at the moment <laughs> to hold it together. Because I think you could, in theory, cut the ship in half. Like if it shot through there, you could just like ping your way through and cut all the rear engines off, which would be quite funny, but not for me. Um, what I might also do? Uh, what? How much power? How much stuff have I got? Uh, how much do I need for engines? Engines, 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 engines. Large thruster needs forty and tower. We're low. We're more than enough. Uh, right, so, we are going to, uh, mirror mode. Right, if we do that, then if we, because we've, we've made the ship heavier now, if we stick some big old engines back here as well, uh, There, we could also potentially go. So we're gonna. Don't worry. We're gonna double up the reactors. That gives us a little bit more maneuverable. Maneuverable. More maneuvering. Can that? That can't go there. That can go there though. That will be protected from the front. This is a really complex, wacky way of doing it, but I like it. We never do things sensibly here at Fail Race. You should know that by now. <laughs> it looks weird, but it's kind of cool. <laughs> I like my weird ship. Yeah, we need a bit more uranium to really make this effective. All right, over this way. How fast are we? If we're still holding about 90, I'd be happy. I mean, it's about the speed we wanted. It looks like everything is powering along quite nicely. Uh, yeah, it's probably still going to be. It's probably going to be a bit awkward to manoeuvre now because it's got quite long. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm probably annoying people that know what they're doing in in building ships. I have no doubt I'm annoying people. However. It's it does the job. If you ever see me play RimWorld, my bases are very higgledy piggledy, but they kind of work. Well, mostly work. Sometimes they don't, but they mostly worked. And this feels like a very higgledy piggledy cobbled together spaceship. It's not really much planning has gone into this. We've kind of just chucked engines on and 
<laughs> we chucked engines on, we chucked lasers on, and whoa. Uh, can we go after you? Come on then, I dare you. I, I, need, I do need a good test of my ship to... Uh... Ooh. Okay, you look a little bit more serious. Let's see what you've got. Uh, large cannon is gone. Whoa, got a little bit close there, but never mind. Whoa, don't take out the reactor, I need that. Never mind, you popped that. <laughs> yeah, it did a little bit of damage. Again, very minimal. Very minimal. Uh, right. Whoop. I guess go pick up all of that guff. Uh, okay, that's just what's left. How do you um, tell your people not to pick up stuff when doing this? Oh, right click. Ah! So, we don't bother with the ammo. I don't use it. We can't make any money from it, right? Oh, Christ. Evie, you climbed on the back of the chair and you just pulled it down. Uh, not pulled it down, but like, because he's gone off his chair, so she just like lent it back because he just jumped on the top and tipped it back. Thanks, girl. Are you going to... What are you doing, weird cat? You sat on my armrest. Um... Well, I can't use an armrest anymore, so that's... That's fun. Uh, hello. Meow to you too. What's up? Hello? You're not going to meow down the microphone, are you? Now you're close to it. You, I, you might have heard that one. If you've heard a meow from my cats, that one would probably be the one you've heard. <laughs> it was very close to the mic. Uh, I should check my storage. I don't want to pick up too much... Basically, I'm just looking for the uranium at the moment. Right, let's go find these unknown contacts. Uh, <laughs> Eve is Eve is definitely Eve is definitely working for the pirates. <laughs> she is 100% a pirate cat. Okay. Oh, great battle with you. Whatever the hell my thing is going to be called. Ooh. You're a bit more serious. I mean, again, not going to really be enough to stop us. But a smidge more serious. And it's plinked. Right, who wants to come and have a go? <laughs> Anyone? Would anybody like to try and have a pop at the Carly noise? No. That platform's staying stationary. I am going to pull apart your reactor. Oh, I don't really care about the rest of you, to be honest. I just need the reactor. Oh, I'll take that as well. If someone wants to go grab the processor. We're just taking high-value parts at the moment. Uh, and, yeah, I guess you can get the steel. Uh, I could probably do it with some more storage. Where could I fit some more storage? I guess I could fill up, actually. Uh, we're always needing storage, right? Okay, it's maybe slightly weaker than the big armor plating through there, but yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we managed to stop something without blowing the reactor to pieces. It's progress, honestly. I mean, it's, it's the little things, really, where we've bumped it, but... That's fine. Is this just... Are we all we dealing with over here? Platforms? I guess this is the worst thing to deal with. Yeah. Another one over there. But again, it's stationary. I feel like platforms are about the worst thing to have me deal with. Because we can just shred them. Uh, and that one's gone. And... Oh. Stop firing. Who's still firing? Stop! <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? 
Don't know. I don't know. Someone was up to no good over there. I'm gonna blame Chris. Chris was a gunner. So I feel like it's probably fair game to blame Chris. We've saved another reactor. So at least we'll get some more uranium. <laughs> well, it's fine. Um... Yeah, I don't really see the point in picking up anything else, to be honest. We've got stacks of steel. I mean, we used a little bit in the storage, new storage bays, but... Honestly, not enough for it to really be a, a big deal. Oh, forgot. We shuffled that out of the way. Not that, that that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, right, everyone finished. Good work. Let's go pop another platform. Yeah, this has not been a very... There's a bounty over there. That could be interesting. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Uh, well, we made Chris a gunner, which is always a really dangerous. Not as dangerous as Ewan in XCOM, for those that remember. I don't know if anybody actually watching the stream will remember the old XCOM streams. The Ewan XCOM shenanigans was hilarious, but uh, yeah, was not a very good shot. Uh, oh, you're just all. You're strange. You're just all point defenses. Don't think that's really what you want. <laughs> Oh no, you've oh, it's actually, it was already dead. Ah, breaks. That did not take long. <laughs> that was absolutely devastating, again. Uh, oops, slow down. There we go. I mean, I still got a gun survived. Actually, no, four guns survived that. <laughs> oh... Yeah, you, you are probably right, actually. Save it, say, better a gunner than a pilot. Y yeah, you're not wrong. It is probably better to have Chris on gunning duty. Because at least if you're, if you're firing unnecessarily, it's not the worst thing in the world. You're wasting time and ammo and all that crap. But piloting into an asteroid would probably be worse than accidentally firing a laser too long. <laughs> Although I guess you could probably get into a lot of trouble. Like, a, a poor gunner could also... Ooh, small cannon. Oh, that looked worse than it was. Like, a, a rogue gunner could accidentally start, like, a diplomatic incident, couldn't they? I guess a rogue pilot could as well. But, oh, jeez! Well, that's gone bang. That I wasn't quite expecting. That's actually quite quite impressive, if I'm honest. <laughs> that was just we just immediately carved through that. Christ. Okay, what have we got? There's a couple of things going on over here. All right, go on then. I dare you. I, I I just I dare you to come and mess with our ship at the moment. You are one of the more heavily armed things that I've seen. Although you're getting shot in the butt. Uh, you needed the butt armor. You did need some butt armor in this one. Like, the, it, there was pirate on pirate fighting there. Uh, we'll just take out your cannon. Goodbye. I'm keeping on my ship in the top right. And you're basically out of this now. Uh, we'll just take out your... Where's your cabin? There we go. You've gone kasplat as well. <laughs> uh, well, you've you very kindly parked your ships next to each other. You did four steels worth of damage, so basically when you popped the shield for a moment, you hit the armor plating. And... Yeah, the rest... Not gone amazingly well. What's that? Cruise bunk? I guess we can disintegrate some of these. I don't know whether these get us more interesting loot, maybe. I feel like they might get us a few extra bits and pieces. Um, so, no, oh no, it's just a steel. I thought I might get like some coils or something, but no. Uh, oh, 16 uranium. I think that means... We may... Ah, we need... 18... 
Uh, we need the hyper coils. That's what we need. Which we could afford if we were by a station, but we're not by a station. Uh, actually, what we could do if we disable all for a second and just look at hyper coils. I guess we could tell them to pick up all the hyper coils around for the moment. Won't be enough. I think we needed, we needed a bunch more, but... Eh. Uh, our engines give you copper, cockpits give processes. Ah, okay. That is useful information. As we go over there, we could maybe like swing back to there. Uh, probably need to go there at some point for a mission anyway. Sure. Let's, well, we're going to pl fly past this um, question mark. Oh, hold on. The hell are you? And oh, we have got stopped. Sure, let's go. Have an investigate of that. There looks like some goodies in there. Oh, am I going to have to fire general alarms? I wanted to pick up all the goodies. Yeah, there is some interesting things. But... Bloody pirate ship has come to ruin our day. Excuse me, I was happily investigating. Come piss off with your iron cannon. And bang. And bang. And, well, you've just been absolutely decimated. <laughs> uh, oh, crap. Where was it? There was the box. Right, look. Nope, not quite there. Just fly over there. And we'll go... The box was more interesting. I don't quite know what was in the box, but the box was interesting. Uh, someone's out of the ship. Who's out of the ship? For God's sake. Uh, oh. I don't know. Someone's... Someone's wandered off out of the... Out of the ship. Who is it? <laughs> Can I tell? Uh... No, I think Chris is in the ship. I was trying to figure out who the hell that is. Oh, Tim Horton, you lunatic. <laughs> so Tim Horton was the one that decided to run a long way away and grab something. Hello, dog. What's up, buddy? What's up? Um, do we have enough storage for all? Yeah, we haven't even touched that on the storage. So what are those? Game? Do you care to tell me? I don't know. I don't know how to know what they are. <laughs> uh, but never mind. I guess I can't use them yet. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't have hyper coils. To be fair, we didn't really didn't get hyper coils from that. Uh, right. So over this way we go. Yes, yeah, so the the pirate. Well, I say the pirates are are a pain. Um, <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, of course, that stuff's yeah, that stuff's uranium. That's the like unprocessed stuff. I haven't really gone down mining route much in the game, so <laughs> uh, that is fair enough. I guess we could, if we could, maybe if we bought the thing that could turn uh, uranium, like raw uranium, into the enriched uranium, that would be another way to go about getting. The uh, things that we were the things for the reactors. Although we're looking for coils at the moment, but yeah, it could still work for that sort of stuff. All right. Unknown contact. What are you going to be? What weird little ship will we fight this time out? Oh, you're one of the crowns, aren't you? Ah, uh, I mean, you look more fearsome. You have more guns. And clonk. And clonk. Long. We shouldn't run in that close, actually, because their weapons are more effective at close range. Uh, well, no, you lunatics. Well, not quite what I was looking for. 
unfortunately. Uh, so things that we are looking for are... Disable all. Any Eurix uranium, any processors, hypercoils. I think that's mainly what we're after, isn't it? So we can kind of go... Whoop, and... Oh. Take out that. Might get what we're looking for in there. I'm not sure. I don't, I'm not really that fussed about the... Whatever the... Blue stuff is. Hyperium. It's not really too important yet. I'm sure it is important later on. Um, I, there, there might be a way to stop targeting. My gunners are just very eager. <laughs> they just seem to want to fire everything all the time. Which I kind of respect. We've taught them well. Ish. Definitely well-ish. Let's go to the station. We go to the station. Ooh. Do we go take on the pirate base? The pirate base is risky. Do you reckon we're ready yet, folks? I feel like we're pretty powerful, but I feel like... Um, we're asking for trouble also. Uh, right, you can slow down. We had a mission here. Oh. Uh, okay, we've got a bunch of missions, actually. Fantastic. Uh, right, we're going to have to start leaving this area soon. Uh, which I'm fine with. We can hopefully build this other reactor. 54,000 monies. That is what we like. Okay. That can sit there. Um... We could... I mean, we could shove more laser guns on the front. If we... Move those down there. Took those off. They're only an individual laser. But more firepower is more good, right? We can have a couple more lasers up there. I mean, yeah, someone will have to sit in that. In you know, we'll have, to, we'll have two more people be kind of doing their doing their job. So our nomads a gunner. Uh, Tim Horton's a gunner. Captain Kurtz on a gun. Beer fart, be oh god, beer farts and Chris are working together on a gun. Vanessa's on a gun. No, nope, people better watch out for your legs. But yeah, Chris and beer farts. I feel like, I feel like that's not the combination I want on guns. I might be wrong. However, <laughs> maybe they're the best. Maybe they're the best um, combination of people to have on on weaponry. But I do worry. I do worry about that. Uh, yeah, well, Lombo's family hasn't turned up yet. <laughs> oh, that would be a very Rimworldy adventure if it's not. It's not. A, it's not a fair race adventure until a bunch of Lombo relatives turn up unexpectedly. <laughs> uh. Let's go and try this. This is going to be a tough fight, I think. We might have bitten off more than we can chew. We can probably flee if the going gets really sketchy. I mean, maybe Beer Farts and Chris are going to be the best gunners we could ever imagine. Maybe. I, I, I think that is questionable and dubious... Maybe. Maybe they will be the greatest gunners of all time. Let's go and see. Uh, again, this is going to be a... I want to kind of goad you out of the base a little bit. That's a, that's a lot of contacts here. So they've got three ships... 
four defense platforms and the actual base. Got four ships. Come on. Come on. I'm trying to tease some of the ships out. I know you want to come and attack this. I know you're tempted. And if I stay out of the bases, out of the actual defense platforms range, stop sneaking around. <laughs> Come on, pirates. Be brave. Be assertive and all that. I know we're... Whoa, don't crash into my friend. Oh, oh, oh. The panic and hamper. I might have got this one here on its own. Uh, oh, there's a... Come on. Come on. Get here, you pirate bugger. There we go. Uh, what have you got? Little laser blasters. Now, you're dead. You've just immediately succumb. <laughs> that was fine. Well, you weren't that fearsome. You were fairly un... Inspired. I mean, I'll come and pick bits out of your corpse later. <sighs> come on. Somebody make a wonder. Have they got another ship over here? Oh. That one there's just coming to range. Uh, and it's just... Fire or like a shift click like can multi select targets, which I'm fine with. Just fire. Although, to be fair, these I just want to kill quickly. Uh, right, that's definitely heavily damaged. Uh, oh, we have wandered into the path of a platform. Uh, oh. Okay, Ch abandon, abandon all your plans currently. Stop shooting at the immobilized ship and fire at the ones that are firing at you. Uh, yeah, maybe take out that gun. No, oh, maybe. F oh yeah, we've lost. Have we lost some engines. No, nope. get out of there. Slightly. Oh, we've not gone as far away as I thought. Oh no, you've got no weapons. Christ, try to find all of these little things. Ship, down that way. I, just, I lose track of where the hell I am in the firefight. That one's dead. Uh, right, spin around. Take out this, take out that, get the reactor, make it go pop, please. Okay. I think we're taking out all the ships. Uh, oh. Alright, fly, fly away for a second. Hey. And... If you've got no more ships... You coming towards us? Oh, I wanted to go pick up some of the loot. However, if you're coming towards us, I will be ready to shoot back. Evie, could you not? Oh, I've got distracto cat going on. Eve, stop climbing in places you are not supposed to climb in. Uh, <laughs> I don't really have a stopper, but uh, what do we need to repair? Normal? Uh, is that hypercoils? Uh, not sure. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, because we've got 400 normal coils, so... If we can go and pick up all of them... And there are really no coils from that ship at all. Uh... Right. Can't repair all, but I've got to repair the important bits. Uh... Yeah, the engines are expensive. Uh, right. I guess if we shuffle our way over here, 
to start work. I mean, that ship there is basically in one piece. So there should be some good loot on that. One of those ships that was, was pretty much... Oh, processors and hypercoils. Lovely stuff. That is what we like. Repair it. Hey! <laughs> Fantastic. I guess we can go and just pull that ship apart. I mean, yeah, that got... Oh, that got absolutely decimated. Which is what we like to see. Uh, oh gee, that was, I, want, I assumed there must have been a hotkey for that. There we go. Uh, right, pull it apart. There's probably not the most valuable ship in the world, this. No, we're just breaking off normal boring bits. Um, but we got some hypercoils. That's what matters. How are we on resources? Yeah, a bit low. Right. Station. If we go and take out... I mean, with these platforms, we've fought, fought these before. These are not particularly... fearsome. <laughs> yep. Ooh. That one there looks a little... Jeez, that looks a little bit scarier. Let's just f open fire with everything we've got on you. You are a bit more of a fearsome uh, contender. Right here. I mean, dear, def we're kind of in a blind spot. This, station, this, this platform can't move. Oh, that's the base. Oh, crap. Didn't actually mean to go take the base on immediately. I was going to go and take out platforms first. Wee. Okay, let's just get out of range slightly. Uh, we didn't actually take any damage from that. Uh, okay, we got... Uh, I just thought that was a big defense platform that they were firing from. But no, that was actually uh, the base itself. You are going to be dead, pretty much. Oh, where's my camera gone? Uh, I, I feel like, honestly, if we just kind of fire on that section, honestly, that's just going to go down. Uh, oh. Oh, you've turned up. Sneaky. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to fill you full of bullets. And not really worry. Damn the consequences. Explode everything. Thank you. <laughs> I literally met all of the criteria for what we needed. <laughs> Spin around. Break some more things, please. And... That's gone. Pop goes the base. And hopefully, Pop goes the other base. <laughs> if you can... It's just essentially fill this thing full of ammo. Uh, you know You've got better shot on that now. I don't even think the, the main bit is really doing much. Oh, we're out of power. That's a problem. What's happened to all our people? Oh, clonk and clonk. Uh, what do we want to kill on this? If we can kill the cockpit, you've not really got much in the way of... Oh, that ship. Face that way, please. Uh... Oh. It's gone. They really did not have much of an answer for us here. The uh, the Carly noise is just too powerful. <laughs> it absolutely decimated the uh, opposition here. It really wasn't that much that we were afraid of. 
quite frankly. Uh, we're going to... Oh, don't want to pick that up. Right, take that apart, take that apart. Uh, maybe take these apart and see what's... I think they're empty. That might have something in it. Uh, I guess we can take apart the guns. They might give us something. That just looks like ammo, to be honest. Uh, we'll just... No, they've definitely got something in those. Not sure what. But... Actually, yeah, that's like they've got something in all of these now. What is that? Iron. Okay. Iron and sulfur. Okay, not particularly valuable. <laughs> I mean, more valuable than the ammo, but not much. We are basically just decided to tear this base apart out of spite, really. I mean, anyone else, if anybody else does want to come around here and nick all the stuff, I guess you are welcome to. It's not like I'm that fussed about most of this. Yeah, I don't really see the value in a lot of that. It's just, it would take up a lot of space. It's not really worth me hauling it around. Um, well, that has gone surprisingly well. Let's go take out a bounty while we're here. Uh, Drake, thank you very much for the donation. Uh, so, haiku time, enjoy. Uh, <laughs> Cult Wars ends today. Uh, one pence reigns supreme. Oh, yay. Uh, oh, no, 69 back. Currently, the Cult of 1P does continue to lead the donation bar. Um, uh, also, a, a joke. Uh, a mate of mine got hit by a car. The irony of it all is that the vehicle in question was a Dodge. I'll take my booze, please. <laughs> you will get a boo. That is terrible. A boo to you. From chat, and indeed from me, as our vessel flies off towards its next target. Uh, I don't actually know what base... Can you return your quest to any station? I feel like you must be able to. Maybe, I hope so, because I can't be asked to fly around the galaxy just return to return all the quests. Um, so yeah, fingers crossed we can do that. All right, where are you? Okay. Uh, horse flight. I'm pretty sure that's one of the ships that I've already torn apart very quickly. Uh, good luck. Oh, another ping. Oh, well, this was just a random thing. Oh, and this is one of the better equipped vessels that we fight. I mean, it's not... It's not gonna match this volley. <laughs> You know what? Just shoot it however you want. It's exploded into a million pieces. And then we're going to go and fight the actual thing. Um, you've literally got two engines. Your cockpit is on the front of your thing. That's very dangerous. <laughs> That's, um... I mean, you did a tiny bit of damage. Honestly, you did more than the other ship. But... I'm not gonna lie. It was some questionable decision-making right there. Um, oh, quest to station two. That's very annoying. <laughs> That's very annoying. Uh, we've got to go to... Uh, any, oh, any station in the Zeta system we can do that one from. Which is fine. I'm going to go to Draenor or whatever the damn thing's called. Which is... Okay, well, that's the closest. Right, go on then, ship. Off we fly. We'll make some money. I don't quite know what I want to do with my ship next. Do we think more lasers is the way? To, I mean, more lasers is more good. I feel... If in doubt, more lasers is going to be the way to go. Whoa! Whoops. I forgot I was at eight times speed. 
All right, <laughs> we've had a small, a small crash. Thankfully, no harm was done. Uh, receive some money, receive some money, receive some money. Fantastic. Uh, and we should probably... Uh, let's just have a talk to you again. Uh, we should probably learn how to build some more stuff. Uh, not that fast about that yet. Did we build? Do we go for large shields? We should probably get a hyperdrive, right? Phil, we could get a huge thruster. Let's get that. We should probably put a hyperdrive in our ship at some point, some way. Uh, we can. Oh, that's quite a lot of money. We have we have the money actually. So screw it. Uh, sensor array. Let's do it. Um. Oh god, you can make deliberately explodey. Mm, that's quite fun. Uh, we can learn how to use disruptors. Sure, let's go for it. Uh, we still got a lot of money, so that's fine, right? So things that we were wanting. Uh, if we put that in there, uh, that could work. The other thing, what was I, the other thing I was going to look for? What was I putting down? I've immediately forgotten the stuff that I have bought. Uh, uh, oh Christ, that's a massive room. I thought that was going to be a tiny room. Do we do we start making the ship wider? Do we start making the ship longer? Uh, we can make it longer, I guess. It's honestly not that much of a problem for us. We can delete that, and then let's say we want the sensors. We can maybe get some more crew quarters, actually, just in case. Uh, maybe we can have, like, a line of crew quarters down here. We're not going to, like, use them immediately, but it's just something that we can do. <gasps> oh, you moron. Right. Reactors can go down there. That's fine. I was just filling in the gap. Uh, it's... I'm much happier when that has that. So we've got more, more crew quarters down here. Uh, we can have the... I guess... Could put another reactor in. I, mean, I know these aren't perfect, but we've got more than enough power. We could maybe get a few more. Yeah, we've got more than... We could get some more crew. Uh, then if we get... Oh, do we get some manufacturing going on now? Maybe getting some manufacturing, not the worst idea ever. For the moment, I guess if we stuck some storage in here, always needing it, so I guess why not? That's fine. Well, I guess we could even actually just remove that corridor by just... Because they can walk through there. There's no reason. So they can just walk through there as quick as anywhere else. So we can do that. Got to go a little bit further for the engines now. Whether that was a good idea or not. Huge thruster. I want a huge thruster. Uh, like that. And then... Two little engines. I mean, it looks cool. <laughs> I like the look of it. It's dumb, but it looks... It's dumb, but it's my ship. <laughs> it's done in a... Dumb in a it's done in a stupid way. It's... But it's mine. Um, oh, they walk slower in the cargo bay than they do in the corridor. Ah, I did not know that. I guess that makes sense. Um, actually, can you armor? Oh, you can armor the whole way up the side of the engines. I mean, it's only a little thing, but that might keep... That might just protect our very expensive large engines at the back. I mean, we've got these little side engines as well that will propel us forward, so we're going to be faster. Uh, let's go and talk to the station for a moment. Hello. 
Let's fill our ship up with crew. Fantastic. Uh, senior Saviour, thank you very much for the donation, by the way. Uh, well, actually saying, uh, by the way, Star Citizen Racing is getting more and more uh, mature, hoping to see uh, Fail Race in SC, maybe the uh, De Demar Rally. I know of Star Citizen. It's one of those <laughs> I know of it just because it's a game that's been in development for silly amounts of time. Um, I love, I do like games like that. Um, I'm sure I'll enjoy it if I get around to playing it and all that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know when I'm going to get around to play it. Whenever it actually uh, comes out, I guess, <laughs> or, or more comes out. Uh, it's probably one of those games that when I get into it, I will just be playing forever and ever and ever. Um, but, uh, yeah, we will... We will see. Racing is always good, whether it be with spaceships or we're crashing into the bloody station. That was terrible. How fast are we now? Whoop! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Glimmer. <laughs> I do apologise. You've had a, a bad day there, haven't you? Uh, you have just gone for a spin around. Uh, and also, actually, uh, we will have... Uh, you shall become... Uh, Senior uh, Saver, welcome to the crew. I should probably start sorting my people out into more sophisticated roles. However, we haven't. <laughs> Just carry stuff around. You know, it's fine. Uh, the ship does look slightly like a cartoon character now. We've got the little arms, we've got the, the head, we've got the ears, the head, the hair. You've got kind of arms going on. <laughs> Almost little legs as well. I mean, you know, it's very silly. But I mean, you saw if you watched if you've watched this stream from the start. If you watched this stream from the start, the chances are you probably want this game by now. But you'll see, you can see how much this ship has changed from where it began. I mean, you can see the very basics of the ship. It was like this triangle point here came down, and then was there storage bays there? And that was it. That was the original crew quarters, possibly. Um, so yeah, you can see how much the ship has grown. I mean, this isn't the most sophisticated build in the in the world. It's probably not the best way of doing things. I've not really played it very sensibly. Should probably get some more guns actually in amongst this armor plating at some point uh, as well, because we've got these we've got these like point defenses down here. I've never seen them fire, and I don't know whether they actually have stopped much. Because um, yeah. I guess if rockets do sh overshoot and try to curl in, or go, but if they go round, we're in trouble because they'll get behind that. Uh, but yeah, we will see. Hello. Uh, right. I don't actually know how to use these because I mostly have just farted around in the starting sort of area. Um, right. Okay, so it takes 11 Hyperium, I think, to jump. Six, slash, all ships are ready to jump. Engage! And off we go. Blink! We are into the Sig Sigma Dinia or something, I believe this one was called. The Carly Noise has arrived. <laughs> go off to the station. Um, uh, uh, yeah, the potential for, for Warhammer 40k style battleships is very much there if you want to go. Ours looked like that briefly. Ours now looks very different. Uh, but yeah, like the, the, the customization as far as how you want to go about building ships is amazing. You can go crazy. I mean, this is just one way that I've built this one. That's by no means the, uh, the only way. There'd be plenty of ways you could build ships differently. You know, you could use the same starting point and end up down a very different path than I have, for example. Um... Yeah, it's completely up to your imagination. And if you are interested in this, there is a, a sandbox mode, unlimited money, and all of that kind of thing. So if you want to just go absolutely mad with the building, let's see what we're fighting here. I don't know whether... Like, we might have jumped into a lot of trouble, but uh, let's go and find out. What is your ship going to contain? I'm going to go with, no, we're not going to have a lot of trouble with you. Ph Phalanx Light Escort. Uh, once you get into range, oh, pop goes the everything. And pop. And pop. Ah, you can blow up. 
<laughs> you weren't really much of a threat there, were you? Uh, we will just wander our way over. We should probably uh, start picking up Hyperion as well. We are probably going to need that. Don't think we need much steel at the moment. Uh, so yeah, let's just go and pick up all of that crap. What the hell did that show? Is that a lot of hyper coils? Well, no, oh, no, we pick up normal coils as well, won't we? Because we always need to replace those. That's fine. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, any any kind of ship, uh, yeah, any kind of ship from from sci-fi. You know, if you can make it two D, you can make the Millennium Falcon if you want. You'd have to build it quite big because you know it's built. The things are built in blocks. It's like building anything in Minecraft. You'd have to build it quite big, build it out. You could build an X-wing. Uh, you could. Or you probably be like Battlestar Galactica, I presume, because that's not a particularly complicated shape, is it? Uh, the Vipers might be a little tougher to do. You probably could do that. Um, again, because it's like block built, you could build the Enterprise if you wanted. You have to build it quite big to make a circle. But you saw like the relay jumps were kind of uh, along the. Uh, you, could, you could see how you could make the different shapes from like the relay jumps and so on. I guess you could even build, like, Pelican from Halo. That'd be kind of cool. Um, excuse me, Intrepid, come here. I've got... No, no, you've pissed off. You're too fast. <laughs> come back! They have many lasers. Many lasers f with 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 your name on it. No, you're going to go too quick for us. Um, I'm sure, there, I'm sure like, all that stuff I've said, I'm sure there are mods for it as well, if you don't want to... If you don't have the knowledge, like me, to, to actually go for the replica. Um... That ship is... Oh, no, we're catching it. We're catching it. Oh, it has now turned. <laughs> it knew it was going to get shot. So it has decided, you know what? Screw it, I'm going to turn around and fight. Oh. Goodbye. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh. But, uh... Yeah... I like good old the good oh no, it did do some damage it did one what did it hit oh it got through the shield with 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 one steel's worth of damage but it did he got through the shield uh you sneaky bugger all right have you picked up all the loot we wanted um some let's go back let's keep going off to the station uh You're just a friendly. Uh, wow, I've just noticed the time. Bloody hell. <laughs> I, I will say, time flies when you are having fun. And it has done as expected, pretty much. Um, we have basically gone through three hours. And it definitely doesn't feel like it. The ship, as I said, you know, it's been fun watching the ship evolve, the ship kind of change and... Uh, grow, so to speak, um, is really kind of cool to see. Uh, I really, really like this game. Um, I really, I really enjoy this game. So, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the plan will be in terms of future streams, although we may well see more streams on this at some point. Uh, because, yeah, I'm, I'm having a great time. <laughs> and it'll be interesting to see how crazy this ship could get, how um, advanced, how pretty much out of control uh, things are going to end up because you know what happens when I have uh, can access to far too many lasers. You've already seen. We've, we've already gone quite overboard on the lasers. So, uh, yeah. Um, I, I, I cannot recommend this game enough, I have to say. I, I really do recommend this. Uh, it's quite simple to... Sometimes when you have games with all of these kind of building features it can be quite complex honestly this is one of the, one of the easier ones i've found to just sort of pick up and learn doesn't take you many hours to kind of get the hang of it um which is really which is really nice especially you know i'm sometimes a bit pushed for time when i want to learn a new game while trying to film other stuff and, and everything else i can be a bit pushed for time learning more complex games and this one there is a lot of depth to it but it is very approachable so if you're interested in something like this this is actually a really good place to start it's a, it's a great accessible game uh, which is nice. Yeah, can't recommend this one enough. Uh, really, really cool. Um, I've had a lot of fun. I hope you have uh, 
have have all enjoyed this stream. I know it's something a little bit different to what I would usually do, um, but yeah, a fantastic, fantastically entertaining game. We have this weird orange orange thing. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it, but it is ah, it is fantastic. Actually, before we go, because I was going to wait until the end. I was going to wait until the ship was bigger to actually go for the fail race stripes. Uh, oh, God. Okay, that's actually kind of detailed. Oh, Christ. This is a lot more complex than I was expecting. Uh, can we do the stripes? I guess, could we do it like that and then do it? Ah. You kind of could. <laughs> that's really neat. That is really neat. And in true fail race fashion, you've got to have the off-center stripes. That's so cool. There's actually quite a lot of... Um, there quite a lot of options in terms of painting your vessel, if you want. You can probably get quite over the top with that. Uh, <laughs> actually, I should have probably put it slightly further over um, to have it as a proper fail race off-center. But yeah, awesome game. Thoroughly enjoyed my evening. I hope... All of you have uh, enjoyed this stream as well. We will probably come back to this game at some point. Uh, we may well, may well have the long, the long drive if Carly is about next week. May come back to this uh, next week if she is unavailable. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you all very much for for watching. Uh, of course, a very, very big thank you to everybody who has donated along the way. Uh, if we still... Oh, no, Chris isn't on guns anymore, but Beer Farts is. Beer Farts is on a gun. Drake's not doing much at the moment. Uh, who else have we got hanging around? Uh, oh, Mikey's flying the, flying the ship. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Brady's carrying some power around. Uh, Tim Horton is carrying some power around and Vanessa's powering the shields. Um, yeah. That one is, uh, that, though, yeah, is gonna be it. It's gonna be it for today's stream. Of course, thank you all very much for, for watching, for spending your Wednesday evening with me. Or if you're watching this on the VOD, if you've got through three hours of this and are somehow still hanging around. Um, yeah, thank you very much. That, though, is gonna be it for today. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.